Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Set Breaker Podcast. And today, we have one of my closest friends. Keith Mills back for round two. Yo, what's good, everybody? Good I'm to have back. you back. Good to have you back, man. Man. I needed I needed you here today because yeah. this was an emergency. This is an emergency. We know, right? Yeah. It was an emergency because I was in. We're gonna get right into it, guys. Shh. Okay. Shh. Okay. I, I know what you talk about. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Me. I, I know what you talk about. Me. Shh. Shh. Yeah. Shh. Okay. <laughs> Man, hecklers need a sh- hecklers need a shut. I will. I destroy hecklers. Man. Only real ones would know what that means. What I just did right That's there. That's a video. That wasn't hit him making fun of Asians. It was no, a, no. It was a video <laughs> clip where they were making fun of me, and yes. I fucked their ass up. I know what you talk about. Yeah, she said that. That bitch said that. <laughs> only real again. Only real ones know what that means right there. Man. So if you're a real one, go back to my Instagram. So exactly. all right, guys. So basically, exactly. What's good, man? All right, well, all right, all right. I was in. What, what's the emergency? Tell I, me. Bro. I was in Boston. You know what it is. Mm-hmm. I was in Boston over the weekend. There was a girl I want to visit because she came to visit me first. Okay. Because I'm not a. I, I didn't go first. She came to me first. So you 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 brought her out. No, she flew herself out. She flew. No simp. No simp. No simp in But you. one could say that I simp to fly out to see her. But equal trade off. I don't think that's. No, 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 no. That's not. That's not because. You know, yeah, if she if she did it first, yeah, the simp rules is like, you know, you come first, right? Yeah. Pause, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do though. Yeah. Dude, I, I like, <laughs> man, the past couple times I've been having sex, I busted nuts with like the past three girls so fast, so fast. I could not let, it got to the point where I'm like, what's wrong with my body? Uh, and I started doubting my, my myself, but I realized, oh, it's because I've never really found them that attractive. Oh, so you're just trying to get it over with. My body, my body is yeah. rejected because like I don't even really like we're not vibing, and then they're you know maybe they're not my like actual cup of tea. I'm trying mm-hmm. to be really nice here, but basically like they're kind of ugly, right? <laughs> they're kind of oh man, <laughs> like I can't fuck like that anymore. I used to I used to be able to fuck any girl mm-hmm. and then just be like and stay hard, and then and then, then I can't do that no more. Now it's just soft. I think it's probably starting to come with age. It is, man. Yeah, but I hope it's not like a testosterone problem. I don't nah, think it is. Nah, because you know, the less less hair you have, the more testosterone that they say most of the time. So really? Yeah. You good? Yeah, okay. I'm good. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I say about Watch me watch me, <laughs> watch me do that. That's a fucking lie. Other, other people are gonna look like, no, he's fucking just lying. I, hey man, I don't know. I'd be seeing that shit, so whatever, man. I, I mean, look at him. One punch man right here. One Come punch on, yo. Man. And he's what is the what's the fucking workout that does he do and shit? He did, I don't know. He runs like, like ten miles a day or something, and then like a thousand push ups. Sit ups. A bunch of a crazy bunch of shit that I would not like. I would never do. But 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 let's uh okay look yeah 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 okay but yeah let's because we, we're go. gonna this this whole thing is gonna be about Boston. Okay. First time in Boston, yeah. but just to give you guys a quick preview, so you so you know, I got kicked out of the house when I had two days left in Boston. She kicked me out before, and I wasn't even home, but. Okay, I'll just say this. I don't even know where to begin. There's so much shit. Just where start. should I start? Okay. Um, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. She, uh, I, I always kind of felt like she didn't, she's Korean, by the way, Korean American. Shout um, out, y'all. Shout out to yeah, y'all. Yeah, shout out, shout out to, <laughs> shout out to the good ones. Anya Haseo, you know what I mean? Anya Haseo, motherfucker. <laughs> and um, I always kind of had this weird feeling of, it felt kind of off. Like it wasn't like a smooth conversation with, that I would have with people. So something fell off. And you talking about in the beginning? Or? E- even in the beginning, it was like she liked talking a lot, like kind of talking about herself, talking like over overtaking the conversation constantly, hmm. which, you know, people could argue you're a stand-up comedian. You're probably the one doing that. I'm like, uh, guys, if you listen to my podcast or talk to me, I'm not talking 90% of the fucking time, right. you know? And uh, that happened when she was in California. And I thought... That there was like a like a thing, I thought that inside for me there was some feels that it could have been a potential thing because she's like I might move to L.A. blah blah. Oh, so you felt you you like I thought so, and I talked to him like the the second like two podcasts ago I think, mm-hmm. but clearly things has has drastically changed. Right. But then then I get there and it just it felt even more awkward and long story short, 
I realize she does not like me, like me, like my soul. Because she would ignore 50% of the things I would say, the natural jokes I would make. She'd just like look at me like I'm a fucking idiot because she's like an engineer. Yep. Yep. And um, there we go. she's one of those she's one of those girls that like not there we go shout out to y'all but uh, I'm gonna get to it yeah yeah and she's one of those <laughs> girls that thinks like she wants to be white like mm. she does not fuck with Asians like she it seems like she does but I realized um for instance remember I told you when I was in the subway we're on the subway mm-hmm. and then there was like five black dudes they were just chilling by the entry of the exit of the subway yeah they were just smoking a blunt yeah and one of them was like Black Lives Matter to like with the, I forgot who they were like like that kind of like kind of aggressively like he looked like his veins were popping out of his neck. Did they have like an argument or something? See, that's shit? the thing I don't know. That's why. But I saw that. But I was like, but then I looked up all them and then I was like, hmm. I could tell right away like it's not like that, right? So then yeah. I when they said that, I did a shaka. Looked at them. They made eye contact with me, and I did a double thumbs up. They didn't fuck with me. It was cool. Yeah. I was like, you just did a thumbs up. I just did the double thumbs just up. Double thumbs up. Shaka, like like, like Hawaiian, because I I, I want to go saying, Hawaiian. Yo, just saying, just saying, yo, hey, I'm down with y'all. Yeah, basically, that's what I said. I'm like, right. like that, right? Right. And I kept walking, you know. Uh-huh. And she's like, don't do that. Don't do that. I was like, why? It's like you don't know. Like you're not from here. Like like you like like you're, you're gonna cause trouble. You don't cause trouble. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, they gave us no problem. She's like, yeah, but it's different in LA. LA's very different. Like, in Boston, there's a, because uh, there's a place called Methadone Mile, but it's not, but she told me it's around there, but not that close. And she's like, yeah, you never know what can happen, this and that. And I'm like, they're just, she's like, they're smoking weed. Like, who, who smokes weed in the subway? I'm like, homie's just kicking it. Man, she, I used to do that shit. She couldn't survive in LA. We see some shit every motherfucking day. Right. And you you worried about motherfuckers smoking weed in the subway, and you just giving two thumbs up, be like, "Hey, I rock with you guys." Yeah. That's a lot of insecurity issues, but that just shows like, "Hey, I'm down with the cause. I'm cool. Like we cool and salute to y'all." That's all it was. And then you, you did you say anything? I didn't say shit. You didn't say anything. Made to eye it. contact. And they looked at me with just like normal, like, 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 hey man, like just normal. That was it. I know, I know from there, I know what she was trying to do. I'm, I'm going to guess it, but you know what? Even, even if you're watching this, whatever, I'm going to tell you what type of person you are because I'm looking in camera, shawty. Anyway. Tell her. Oh, I'm going to tell her. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go in. Um, I think basically um, when you felt those feels that you had when she was like, oh, I'm going to move out to L.A., she was Potentially. Def- potentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we weren't for sure. But when, when you said those things, obviously you were interested and you're like, whoa, I, I might really like this girl. So naturally things change and you know, you're aware of yourself, like maybe this one has potential. I could be with her. So you're going to be a little more caring, a little more loving. And I feel like when she got that too, she's like, you know what, let me try to mold him into something that I see that's accepting for my future instead of accepting who you are. So the thing is, when she was like, okay, don't do the thumbs up. What are you doing? Don't do that. She just wants you to be conservative. And the love that, you know, potentially that could be there. Some She's trying to mold you. She just wants you to be conservative, not say anything, and just be cool. Don't say nothing. Yeah, you know she what I mean? Did that. I said hi and to two other strangers before that. She's like, she that, said, we don't do that in the East Coast. And that's... And that's exactly, and that's not, that's not, that's not even an East Coast, West that's Coast thing. That's what I'm saying. That's a bullshit thing, first of all. Yeah. That's someone who's not secure with themselves. You're trying to change somebody just because this person has fucking two thumbs up and says, what's up? You trying to put that down? Come on, man. No, but even before that, there was people that was saying what's up to me first. And I just had like a quick little convo, like as we're passing by, we'll keep walking. She's like, why do you do that? Or like, they're homeless. Why Why got to talk? I'm like, nah, what the man. fuck? And here's the thing. It, it makes sense Mm-mm. too, because like, Mm-mm. she would say stuff like, oh, that's a, because she's like into bougie shit too, because mm-hmm. she, uh, she she was like, oh, that's that's like, oh, that's like a poor people thing. She, nah, she man. would say that. And then here's the thing too. Then, oh, so guys, this is going to go all over the place, but bear Bear with us, cause it this just happened, and like you know, there was an. Extra, he came back yesterday. Literally, just came back yesterday. Like I was, I had to buy a, a okay plane. Flick it, flick it, flick it. Yeah, I, yeah, flick, flick it, it flick yeah, it. I had to buy a plane ticket the last second, cause she kicked me out of the house when I was out drinking. Oh man, I'm going all over the place. Okay, let's just okay. I'll say that for the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we'll, we'll get. That. I'm discombobulated, but okay. Look, here's another example of her not accepting me when I I did a street performance. 
like you know like street drummers buskers people that make money like tips dancing singing whatever so i got on a show in at quincy market in boston and i've never done that but i i was excited to do it because dave Chappelle did that a lot when he was younger mm-hmm. and that's the one thing that i've always wanted to do but i was afraid of as well because it's in broad daylight and then and and at this place it's like I don't know much about Boston, but in my mind, I was like, "There's," I was like, "Maybe they're racist." I don't know because there was like a ton of white people. But I mean, that's me being ignorant about that place. I don't <laughs> right, know, right, 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 and, right, and what right. people told me in movies and stuff. Right? Oh no, nah, hey, y'all are racist. Some, some, yeah, some of racist. you are really racist. Yo, yeah. Boston, y- yeah, the fans. Oh yeah, yeah. But I mean, I'm not saying most of y'all, but y'all got a bad record. But shout out to Boston anyway. Yeah, you know I still I mean? yeah. Shout out to Boston at the end of the day. But. Did you like it though? Did you like Boston for like you know the atmosphere and all that? That's it was pretty random, cool. Like, but this yeah. is what made it good because when I did that, okay, like the first three comedians went up. You know, they didn't get any tips because um, they were trying to get tips. Like they're like, oh here's here's a, or the, whatever the guy that set it up. And then I go up and it's my first time. And I was just and I didn't even record it because I, I was like, you know what, it's gonna be a bomb. It's just an experience. I'll just take it with me. And then it's going to help me later just because I'm facing this fear. Because I wanted to leave. I never want to leave a show or anything. But this was so new to me. In the street doing stand-up. Mm-hmm. Daylight. Mm-hmm. Where people are eating and doing their own, minding their own business. In like an outdoor mall area. I was like, oh, fuck. That's when I knew I had to do it. So I do it. <clears throat> 10 minutes set. In that 10 minutes set, I made $26. <laughs> That's beautiful. I had two people give me... Um, Ten dollar bills, mm-hmm. and then like six people give me like dollars. Shit, some people don't make twenty five, twenty six in an hour, bro. Just, just bro, the, fuck, the drummer didn't do make that either, and he was good too. And he, and for that thirty, the thirty minutes he was doing it, he didn't make he didn't make as much as me. Mm-hmm. But he was good though. He was still good. So what that did for me, and then the people thought the comedians thought I was always doing it, like I, I've done it before. But what that did for me was that it it like validated. That these are complete fucking strangers. They don't know who the fuck I am. Right. And I'm Asian. Right. Like, I'm just like a random dude. Whatever. There's, there's a lot of white people. A ton of white around. people. Okay. It's mixed, but a lot of white people, right? Because it's not in like a nicer area. Who pays you? The white people? It was the white people. Shout out to those white people. That's what man. I'm saying. That's what's up. Yeah, and, I mean. and I said that on stage. I said that on stage. So I'm like, yeah, you know, this is people, people think like it's like it's just times of division, but like who's the ones that gave me money? It was the white people. And like like a ton of white people were like cracking up and right, shit. Right, and right. They were like, they were like, they were like, yeah. I'm like, That's yeah. Dope. I was like, I fucking love you, Boston. You know? <laughs> like that. And then here's the thing. After I finished that, this girl, she didn't even congratulate me really. She wasn't even excited. So she was for there. Me. She was there watching. She she complimented the guy that went before me. She's like, "Oh, his t- his set was so tight." He, see, see. I, the, that, the dude is cool though. I fuck with that guy. I like. I like. No, we, no, we connected, no. But we're not going I, on the yeah, guy. We're exactly. going on we're this going on fucking bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. At the end of the day, we got to get real on this one. And then, and she fucking like, dude. She <laughs> she said this like, oh, I said, I said, you know, it, it surprised me because like. It's heavily white populated. I just I, I and I'm I'm from out of state. I never did stand up out of state. Not to mention street performance. So it blew my mind. And I'm Asian. She's like, well, actually, she, she's diminishing me. You know, here, mm. white people and Asian white people like Asians like white people. And I'm like, what the fuck? She's like, it's not like how it is in L.A. L.A. is a fantasy land. L.A. is different. She's a fantasy land. And I'm like, um, I don't think so. So she was she was constantly diminishing things I've done, and then she would say stuff like, like verbatim, like, "You are too unapologetically you, and your main character energy is exhausting." She said, "You're too intense. You always feel like like the way you operate is you have to be either they're with you or they're against you," and I'm like, um, "I deal with people all the time. That's not what it is." That's but what she it doesn't is. even know. She only met me like we only like. She's, tr- she's just trying to put you to something that she saw in the future. Like she has this like fantasy man. Yeah. She want to talk about fantasy. She has this type of fantasy man that probably just has a suit he wears the whole time. Yeah. Comes home. Hi, how was the job? Good. And don't say nothing. So you just want a boring person. You don't want somebody who can express themselves. You don't want to, you don't want somebody that's real most of the time. And the reason why that's pissing me off is is that I've had that before too. The same thing. I've dealt with an ex. I remember just talking. I went to the store. I set it up to um, some cashier. It was a girl. I didn't flirt. I was like, hey, da-da-da. Very small talk. 
she comes, why were you talking to her? Oh, damn, she did that too. Hmm? I was like, I was just talking. That's what's going to happen. I'm talking to somebody. What do you want me to be, mute? No, I'm, I'm cool with everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't, look, if you can't be you around certain people, you know that's not your friend, you know you don't need to be around them, period. If they have to question who you are as a person, dip. And that goes with everybody watching this too. You know what I mean? If I can't be the loud or crazy or I'm sad or I'm happy, whatever emotion, and then if 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 you have potential in somebody, when she's seeing you, oh, maybe this could be my boyfriend is what she's saying. If you're questioning that about who he is, you don't need to be around each other then. Period. That's what I'm saying. You don't but, need to be around each other. But but you know what's crazy though about like the whole like the main character energy she was saying? Yeah, she was but, she was saying, she said, see, I'm a chameleon and I can adapt to like any situation. But you don't really do that. You're just unapologetically you. But like, see you like with main actors, you, like people act like they're the ones who are the most amazing ones. But you know who matters more than that? The ones behind the scenes, because they're the ones that if the main actor fucks up, they take care of it, they fix things, and they make things roll smoothly. And I'm just, and, and, and what? She, yeah, I was like, what the fuck? And then I'm that like, so, the so, worst? so I'm like, yeah. But she was say, every time she would do things like wow. that. She, then she would say, oh, the she said, I'm not talking about you. Like, She's like, I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying in general. I'm, but she kept doing that, and I would call her. I'm like, no, but you're saying, you're saying that connecting with me. So we kept we started clashing heads because I'm like I'm not gonna take that shit and then she would always complain about all the guys I date are beta why and I and I told her I figured out why they are why because to deal with you mm -hmm. they have to they have to fit your mold and, and be suppressed exactly. Exactly. Like you suppress them because you like to control them and if they agree then that's the only way you guys can even work but even then it doesn't work because you don't you don't want the beta but you force. You filter it out to where the beta only wants to be with you because alphas don't want to be around that type of energy. No, like with anybody, like no, any alpha, no, male, no. female, whoever male, you are, female doesn't want to be around somebody saying, "Like, change. fuck you, change." No. She had a problem with me being. Un she said verbatim, "You're too unapologetically." I never had somebody say that was an issue. Like, like, fuck you for that. And when you told me that, yo, that shit pissed me off, man. Yeah, it it really at the Italian did, restaurant, huh? Was that when I called you? At the How many times did I call you? You at the Italian a restaurant, a couple of I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't. Throughout care. the time I was in Boston, I didn't care, man. That, yeah. that, that's one thing. I don't. I don't care if you called mad times. At the end of the day, we're brothers. You know what I mean. And if you need help or anything, I'm right there. And with that bullshit, the reason why I was just so passionate about it is because I went through that. And it's just somebody you know that I actually you know loved at the time. You know what I mean. And we went through a lot. Like I gave her so much. That's beta male energy. You know what I mean? I tried to change myself. I didn't I I listened back then. I listened. Because, you because, because you because you what because you, your heart was in it. So you're like, if yes. this helps a relationship, because you, you got yeah. good intent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that that's exactly what happened. I was just like, just hearing that it, it just brought me back. I was like, Mike, no. Everything Mike, I was like, Mike, be you. Be you. If you gotta turn up the whole time, be you. Be you. If she if she gets annoyed by who you are, who you are, yeah, yeah. and she's annoyed about that, try, come on, man. You selfish. You a piece of shit. And nobody's going to rock with you. You can have that great job, whatever, but that's the only thing you're going to talk about. And I'm looking at you. You might not even watch this, but okay, it's for the people that judge. The only thing that you got is a fucking job. That's cool. But who are you outside of the job? Who are you outside of the nine to five? Who are you outside of uh, some bullshit that you go through every day? You know what I'm saying? He's giving his all, and you questioning that? Come on, man. Let me. Come on, man. It was that, and it was funny when you told me on the phone. You were like, "Hey, man, you should like you should double down on it." Double down. And you know what I did? I, do, I I went. I was like, "All right," because I like doing that too. But you reminded me. Oh. Do it, cause I'm in her world. I don't fucking live there, so my my, my brain was just like, like fortunately by that time, uh, you know I'm, I'm fucking 31, gonna be 32. I built up that solid foundation to where even though I wasn't I was in her world, I was still just like, what the fuck is this shit, right? But back then, five five years ago, I would have been like, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know. Yeah, same. same. But then I doubled down on it, and I purposely got extra annoying. <laughs> I was just like to her, cause she said she was like, you know, it's funny too. I, there was one point where I, I cut. Like, I wasn't even talking. 
-hmm. that whole day mm -hmm. like i barely talked and she said you're exhausting this whole day oh you you're still, you're like too into i'm like and in my mind i'm like yo i, I purposely tested it out to not really talk and chill and she still had an issue still she had a issue. problem with the fact that because this is the person who says that she doesn't understand uh, herself she told me she was depressed she told mm -hmm. me that she doesn't know what That's she what really happens. wants then when i get there then she's telling me opposite mm -hmm. so and i remember this shit mm -hmm. so people when people find themselves other people who haven't and who are miserable they hate being around she hasn't found herself and she told me that but she doesn't she's acting like i don't remember i remember every fucking thing we talked about she before hasn't. this boston trip back on the phone and calls, she, everything. And she's trying to project that onto you. That's her insecurities. And this is what I tell this is what I tell my family. Yeah. You know, and I, I tell myself this and I tell tell you who or, or whoever's cool with me and whoever's watching this. Any insecurities that they project onto you, do not hold on to that. Usually we do. For the people that care. When I talk about we, I'm talking about the people that care for people so much. And for me, I carry it with my heart, you know, and I, I love people, man. But if we know that people are projecting their insecurities on us, don't hold that in. Throw that shit away and ask them what's up. Don't hold it. Throw it back at them, basically, and feel, okay, what, what's going on? What, what, what do you want me to do? Because I'm not carrying your bullshit right now. That shit is not going to work for me. That's that alpha shit. Male or female, don't hold that bullshit insecurities from others. Throw it back. Call them out on it. And you have to. That was the problem that she had because we kept butting heads because I, I wasn't taking it. I, and I, I was like, I was calling her out on shit constantly. And good, then it was good. like 50% of the time mm -hmm. we were just arguing about that and her trying to convince me I'm the issue. She's like, yeah, you don't adapt to people. Like I, I'm like, yo, you just told me you don't have... She's like, I don't, nobody fully, fully understands me. She doesn't have a bunch of friends. I'm the one with people who fucking understand me. You understand me. A ton of other people understand me. Because mm -hmm. I'm me. You just don't want to admit that you're, you don't want to hold yourself accountable. And so I'm going to go wanna back. Blame me. I'm going to cut you real quick. Sorry about that. Oh, no. no people, people understand you. First of all, you have a podcast. And you bring people on here. And you rap with them. You break everything down. You have a podcast. You have a YouTube, you have a TikTok, you have a stand, you do stand up comedy, you have mad Instagram, you have mad people that rock with you and that understand you. I, I'm sorry, but yeah, that's, that's what I had to say. Yeah. And, she, and, and what built the following? By me being as real. transparently me as possible. Exactly. Like I was, I refused to do the shit that other people were doing where they get like, try to get easy, quick clout. I'm like, I just want to be me mm -hmm. and get people to like me for me. So I'm going to put out the truth, my vulnerabilities, the my spirit insecurities. spirit DMX in you. DMX. Rest in peace, DMX. That's the spirit. The man, the man, the poet, yeah. the legend. Yeah. He was unapologetic the whole time. He didn't care what didn't people care. thought. Put his life on the line, but guess what? People loved him. Couldn't say anything bad about him. He he knew who his, what his demons were. Yeah. He expressed them. It's either you rock with it or you don't. But guess what? He's dealing with it. And now, you know, rest in peace. He's pain free. But still, he was able to put his story in, in front so people like us can look at it and be like, you know what? I'm not alone. DMX has went through that. Yeah. And you know what? DMX taught me to, you know, keep on standing up with even those crazy demons. So your transparency that you have is putting that person up as well. Whoever that could be, Bill, Joe, Ashley, Heather, they watching you mm. with your platform. So they respect you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I don't know. Man. It, was just, it was just like, and that's why she kicked me out. Like, dude, here's the thing. Okay. So the last night, not the last night, Saturday night, I went out separately, not hanging out with her and her people because I got that Thursday night. So I was hanging out with her and her family up till Saturday during the day. Then I put out on Instagram, who lives in Boston on an Instagram story. Turns out one of the people that I do know personally lives out there. So I planned to meet him at 9 p.m. that night. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, cool. And before that, right before that happened, like two hours before, she sat down really trying to be like, okay, let me try to understand you. Because we're clashing heads. I'm like, no, this is me. Like, I don't understand. Like, why? Like, you know? But even during that time, she was still trying to project onto me. She's like, yeah, you, like, you being loud all the time is just you. Like, I feel like you're trying to make up for something from the past. And I'm like, uh, 
I'm not trying to make up for shit. I'm happy. And she's like, yeah, because when you tell everybody you're happy and you know what you're doing, it sounds so rehearsed. It sounds like you just practice it. And I was like, oh, it sounds, to you, it, it sounds rehearsed because I say it a lot because I not only do I mean it, but because I get interviewed by people or I have conversations where it comes up. It's not, she's like, yeah, I feel like you're trying to like put on a front. I'm like, no, I'm legitimately fucking happy. I was miserable for 28 years. Yeah. Like most, like a lot of times, you know. And why, and why can't she celebrate your happiness? That's what I'm saying. She didn't want to believe it. She didn't want to <laughs> you know fucking I mean? believe it. She wanted to, she wanted to confirm that. What she, is the problem? To make herself feel better about her shitty life. That's what it was. But what is the problem? But even from just a regular, just, just know. looking, just a blank slate. Yeah. What is the problem with someone being happy? Who the fuck is you? If I see someone happy, right, and all of a sudden I'm, I, I look, man, why the fuck that nigga happy, yo? Yeah. I'm like, what, what is that? Don't talk to him. He's happy. Yeah. I used he's to be, a stranger. I ain't gonna lie. I used to be like, that. <laughs> no, but I was that too. That's what we I know. Like, I was like, yo, why are you? Yeah, back then I was. I was like, yo, I'm looking. I'm like, yo, why is that dude happy like that? You know. But now when we really look at it, why are you mad that someone's telling you that they're happy? Maybe they're lying or maybe they're not. But why are you mad, though? Yeah. <laughs> why, why does it Why? Me? She a demon. She's, she was mean. That's a demon, bro. Yeah. And, and I That's feel like demon. some people listening to this might just Sorry. feel like, like, I feel like there's going to be a few people that are going to think, okay, uh, why are you just talking shit about this person? Well, here's the thing. She, she left me straight... So that that night, Saturday night, I was supposed to leave Monday at evening. Mm -hmm. Saturday night, when I meet up with my boy, we're drinking. She all of a sudden, texts me, "Hey, can you stay with your friend?" But here's the thing: we, we that was our first time meeting in person, but like we met through the internet because like we both like do like internet shit, whatever, and we're cool like that. But I'm not trying to like impose myself in his fucking like shit. And I was like, wait, wait like why? Like she's like, yeah, I don't feel comfortable with you anymore here. So can you like, I'll just put your stuff downstairs, and then wow. uh, you could you could stay the night downstairs, uh, not in my room, and then um, just just leave the next day, which would mean in the morning I'd have to find a hotel, and then and then stay Sunday, Sunday yeah. night, and then Monday leave afternoon. And I'm calling her. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? And plus I'm shit faced by this. I'm drunk as fuck, and she knows I'm at a bar getting fucking fucked up. Yeah. And then she changes her mind and says. Hey, uh, I left your stuff outside. She left my luggage outside, including my my MacBook, which is my work MacBook, and she knows that because she saw me doing work, for it to get stolen late at night. Anybody could have jacked that shit. She didn't give a fuck. Wow. She left it out there just because she couldn't handle the fact that she is being called out on her bullshit just by my existence. I know that sounds like I'm like making myself like I'm like no. a god per I'm not. Uh, no, it's no. just I never I, I never clashed heads with this much with somebody constantly. Like it's not a it's not a, it's like it's in just, a short span of time. Yeah, because she was trying to prove something to herself through me and I called her out on that. I'm like, I think I don't even think you really like me. I was you know, like, you know what she was you know? doing at home? She was like she's probably looking at me like oh, I can't what he, he's asking too many questions <laughs> I'm pissed off I, I just have to do something okay put his stuff downstairs right yeah 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 put it downstairs yeah she was like this you know <laughs> like Smeagol she was like no 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 I'm gonna text him <sighs> okay no put it outside ah yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I'm actually getting kind of scared right now that was really creepy <laughs> that's why you you're an actor come on man that's why but at the same time you don't know I said she's a demon you think it's a joke she was probably doing that demon shit when you were out having fun She's a hater. She was. And you know what? She contradicted herself too. You know how? What? She said, I'm a chameleon. I can adapt to anybody. Like, even if like, oh, we don't get really? along. But could you adapt to that? Yeah. She was saying, like, for, for she was saying over and over before that, like, oh, yeah, I can adapt to people. Like, even if we don't really get along, like, I can separate the two. And, like, I can, and then she, and then for me, just because we have disagreements on the fact that I'm not going to let her try to bulldoze over me to, like, fit her agenda, mm -hmm. she, Contradict she herself left and left my shit, shit outside. outside. And I said, Where am I gonna stay? And I'm shit faced. And she knows I'm shit faced. She's like, You're a man. You can figure it out. Yeah, exactly. I told you. you did you? She said when that. When I just did that fucking monologue, she probably did that shit for real. Yeah. Maybe not by the actions I just did, but I know in her mind, she probably had like so many different situations. Like, Okay, okay. And then I'm gonna say this. Maybe you can figure it out. And so she just tried to prove to herself something. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah, yeah, it, it does seem like, you know, we might be going off, but 
this is true to what happened. And I know the people that are gonna watching this, that are watching this, mm-hmm. they they're probably going through the same thing. That's true. That's why it's good to talk about it You're because right. they're going through. They might go through. A girl might go through that. Guy might go through that. Might go through the same thing you went through. But guess what? It shows that you shouldn't be in it. You and you're be only in, in this for three days. Someone could be in your situation for five, ten years, but they finally Ooh, wake scary. up. Yeah, but you're waking up because I've been in that situation. But they're finally waking up. They're like, oh, okay, I can watch this. What? What am I doing? Oh no, I see that. That's true. Oh my gosh, I'm in that same situation, Mike. Oh my gosh, you know. So let's not. We're not making fun of somebody. We're actually talking about real shit that happens in relationships people that try to abuse their power or people try to put their insecurity onto others you know what i'm saying and make them feel like they're in you know insuperior and all that so one thing was is that when that happens you start questioning yourself like oh am i too am i too wild you know dude can there I, was can a part I ask where, you can i ask you yeah. did you question yourself i'm not gonna lie there was a couple of times i was and 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 i would stay quiet and try to understand her and then like i would back down and i'd be like okay and then i'd be like ah, you're right she's like yeah you're just stubborn but here's the thing just because i'm stubborn doesn't like because i agreed with that that's like ways in conversation like jujitsu mental jujitsu that shit to if i agree with this then the next thing i'm more likely to agree with too yeah. and she just wanted me to agree with her about my me being a fucking piece of shit essentially like like she just she like what that did for her was that this whole experience proved to her which was she, which is what she wanted that what she's doing and living in her misery is the correct move validation she, she wants to stay in the validation. matrix she was fighting being unplugged from the matrix seeing the reality of what it is she fought hard against that shit she's, she's agent sh- smith she's a motherfucking agent she smith she saw someone out out the matrix and she Basically. didn't want that. She didn't want that. She was, she trying, to, she was trying to kill me like the way that ball guy killed Tank and everybody. <laughs> you know, in the Matrix. For, you know, right? Remember yeah. that? Yeah, that fucking guy. Yep. Yeah, he murdered them. She was trying to murder me. Yeah. She was trying to kill me. And I told yeah, her, I was, I, was, I, was, I was like, you hate my soul. I was like, you are rejecting my soul. Like, I, I, I can feel it. Like, I, I said this straight up to her and she's like, nah, nah. But everything that happened right there, that, it also reminded me of my first girlfriend. This girl, I remember her saying this. Like, I felt like she, it was the same vibes, but mm-hmm. she, I felt like she was just, just didn't like me. She would she was with me, but I felt like she resented me for whatever fucking reason, right? And I remember her saying, you were I like pursuing you. pursuing shit. No, not even just pursuing shit, but at the time, I wasn't. I didn't really know. This was a different ex, not the, um, you know, you know who? Yeah. This was like when I was like 24, 23, oh, 25. Yeah. She was saying, yeah. like, you, uh, like, I like you like this better. Like this. Because I was, I was exhausted. I was like, oh, you mean just like kind of tired? She's like, she's like, yeah, I like you just like this because you're just more calm. Like, I like that. Those, these are people that... I do not need to be around, no, and that or anybody zero. listening to this shouldn't be around. Like, exactly. right, like, like, like what you went through. Like, my my homie called me yesterday when I told, when I texted mm-hmm. him that he's like, dude, he's like, I went through that with a girl yeah. from this other state, and as soon, I would fly there, you know, hour, and I'd only be there for less than eight, eight hours, and then she'd be nitpicking everything, like basically what happened to me, just like who I am, this and that, and they were like together, and then he'd fly back within eight hours, and he did that. He was in a relationship because he loved her. He kept dealing with it. For I don't I don't remember how long, man. Now I'm thinking, does that happen in long term relationships or something? What? Just that, just a whole bunch of questioning. Because you don't get to see that person that often. You see what I'm saying? Oh, you mean so long the, distance? Yeah. Oh, long distance. Yeah, like does yeah, that, that was happen? a long distance one. I know. That I That's what I'm too. saying. But is that the norm? I think I think that probably is because, mm. you know, from a like if you guys were in close proximity of each other, you'll see each other every day. So it'd be a different type of discussion. I don't know. Maybe it was the long term distance thing. Oh, it's that just, that that allowed it to continue. Yeah. I agree. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. I've been in two. Or one for sure, official one. The second one was like we were talking that for shit like don't three, work. three months. It doesn't work because you don't know who the fuck they are in person. Right. And between that time, you're idealizing the whole thing because you're missing the idea of them or and the they feeling don't, of they them don't and see the, the sex. change day to day. You don't see them in different situations too, and how they act, right? Right, and with this girl, with this person, I had a feeling I was like something's fucking off. The the Boston chick, I was like something's off. Yeah, and and on the flight, I had this feeling of dread. I I, I was like I was thinking like this is a big mistake because my gut was like this is something's fucked up here. But I don't regret it because it taught me a final lesson in who to not fuck with. That I learned fortunately in, at the age of thirty one, about to be thirty two in July. Shut you up. know, before I got into a relationship, before I get potentially married, because that could have been a fucking mess, right? 
and uh, and then a the stand-up thing that validated something for me. Like I said earlier, that took me to the next level. So even though I spent extra couple hundreds of dollars to get a flight back last second yeah. on Sunday when I was supposed to leave Monday, yeah. just because I had to get the fuck out of there, it this was a goddamn blessing. I don't. Re- sure. I, I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm not even mad, man. Like it's just yeah. I was mad, but I'm like, you know what? She gave me a fucking gift, and I know in her mind she thinks that she fucked me up, like financially and some other stuff. She didn't do shit. I live at home with my family. <laughs> um, I still pay rent, by the way. I pay rent, but just saying. Yeah, you gotta help me. You didn't fuck me up. I'm not gonna be in the streets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question. Sure. A real one. Knowing who she is for the time that you've known her, right? Um, what if she lived here? Do you think things would have changed? Uh No. If anything, it could have lasted like slightly, slightly longer than whatever it was, like slightly, just because she's in my world in a sense. Yeah. That in her world. And in her world, she's like, in LA, I was in your world. So like, it was more easy for me to just be like, okay, like this is like, la, 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 la. but now you're in, you're in my area. Like she did a whole thing like that. And I was like, okay. So uh, I'm only going to say yes, because it would have, um, yeah, it would have just, she would have been a little bit more slightly agreeable, but with with my my being but at the end of the day i still felt like it was always it was always there i always felt it but it didn't fully come out until i got there and that's what i had to see too i had to go out there to fucking find out for myself all this stuff Mm. and and an expensive experiment but an experiment that led to a conclusion which led to to me that's success no it is because you're you're going to peep at, uh, anything, like, if you see any signs from that. And that could be from friends, too. Doc, I love that you said that. See, this, this is why we're boys. I lo- you, know what, you know why? You know why? Because what that? that did for me was that it fucking validated for me that same feeling. Because we have different areas of our gut instinct that let us know, like, there's similar. It could be in different situations, but, like, a similar feel, that part of our gut. And that confirmed what I felt for other, quote, unquote, friends. Like, this, she... It confirmed it that Everything. I trust myself a thousand percent more with, and all that shit, right? You know, so so that airplane airplane ride home. Did you when did you start thinking about like okay, I might have to reevaluate <laughs> not only <laughs> this wild woman but my friends. Did you think about that on the plane ride or or? Yeah, I had to take two flights, right? Because I had a layover. So mm-hmm. the first one, it took me to Orlando three three and a half hours for some fucking reason. I don't know. It mm-hmm. was just like a fucking. <laughs> just, yeah. yeah. And, and then the the, reg- the second flight was the regular time, which is like over like a five hour flight. So I had three hours where I just that's all I thought about. I worked it out. Um, and and now I know who certain people are, and yeah. um. And and it's not disheartening because when you know who somebody is and how they are. Mm-hmm. And what to expect from them instead of mm-hmm. expecting everybody's the same and they should be like fit your world and like good get along good people like not fuck you over when you know what to expect of each person individually there's a freedom in that and you can you just it's kind of like letting go and you're like you know what it's all good yeah right yeah I mean, I, I mean like i feel like that's been something you've been going through oh hell yeah even more Hell Maybe, yeah. Right? Hell yeah. If you want to nah. talk about that. Yeah. Nah, man. I've, I've gone through that too. Yeah, definitely. Definitely what I've been going through. Um, Just to preserve my energy, I've cut off a lot of my friends, my so-called friends. And it, it could be one thing of like, if I feel just a spot of like jealousy or hatred, I don't need that around me because I'm trying to be better myself. Why do I need someone who I call a friend Try to pull me down. It could be arise from like a question like, yo, why are you doing that? If I get, if I just get even that, you understand as my friend, you understand my journey. And if you're going to ask me a question like, why are you doing that? It's not going to work for you. Get the fuck away from me. Straight the fuck up. You know what I mean? I don't know where the fuck that came from, but I, I don't fuck with that. You know what I mean? And I won't fuck with them anymore. And I'm going to say fuck all the fucking time because I'm fucking angry. And that's real shit. Like, I'm not, I, I, don't, I don't carry nonsense with me. If I just get a glimpse of any little thing, I'm like, you know what? No. Because I know my life is built on positivity. And I know where my heart came from. I was, I was, I've been that guy to be like, yo, you good? Never show hate, ever. 
If anyone was to do anything, ego's out the way. I'm not saying I'm the perfect friend, but damn it, I'm a good ass friend. He knows that his damn self. 100%. 100%. You know what I mean? So I'm giving my heart out. I don't say anything bad. I don't. And I care for people. Mm-hmm. My girl knows that. She knows I care for her. Sometimes people. to a detriment, right? It is to it's a detriment. It's a double-edged sword at it, times. And, and yeah. it's, it's bad because when I do that, guess what? I care for them, but I don't even care for myself. So I forget my journey as well. So now that I'm discovering my journey through giving people so much love and finally getting that love to myself, now you have people questioning like, nah, what, what are you doing? Like, oh, why are you... I get that. Why are you so excited? Yo, stop doing this. Yo, what the fuck? They would ask you, why are you so yes. excited? Yes. For real? Yes. Anything. I could I could be so animated like this. Why are you being animated? Fuck you. And these, fuck were, you. And these were people that were your friends. These are people who are so-called my friends. You see what I'm saying? But they don't understand. They don't understand. They, you want to be suppressed in your own bullshit. That's why I'm saying that whole... I don't give a fuck. This whole corporate nine to five bullshit. You want to just be... Oh, you know, uh, no. No. No, I'm not saying everyone's like that, but it's most of y'all. I'm going to be yeah, real yeah. with you. It's so, most but of some you. of you genuinely enjoy but it. Some of you, it, it yes. works for you, and that's totally fine. And that's but a totally, lot of you. But a lot right? of you, yes. Miserable. Yeah, and I'm like, yo, let's have a good time. Let's have a good time, but they question that. Why? Why? So for me, if I have people like that, it's a little bit, leave me alone. No. Leave me the fuck alone, because I'm trying to do my shit. Same thing with you. You saw that right away. You're like, you know what? I'm about to leave. She's she's acting like a crazy bitch. So guess what? I'm out. Fine. You want to throw my shit? That's a fucking laptop out there. And I'm I'm being cool with you. I came to Boston. You see what I'm saying? You went to Boston. And she's going to throw you out? Let, let's think about that for a second. Mm. That but that shows what type of person you are that you care. Hey, it could potentially be something. So let me put myself out the way. Let me stop what I'm doing in LA. Let me go see somebody that maybe could be a part of my life. Maybe. Let's let's entertain it. Mm-hmm. Potentially. Potentially. You go out there and she kicks you out because of her, of her insecurities. Whose fault was that? Hers. You came out there because you, you didn't have anything. You didn't you're like, "You know what? I might like this girl." You know, what? cool. You put your feelings aside, everything. You're like, you know what? I'm a good guy. I'm going to go there. That's how you're treated? That's crazy. That's crazy. And a lot of... Yeah, go ahead. Who does that? Not cut you off. I just want to say, who does that? Thousands of miles away. And it's continue. Fucking idiots. <laughs> and honestly, yeah. Um, I've had good friends that I've, I've uh, grown up with, but I, I'm going to say it all the time. Longevity don't mean shit. History means bullshit. History don't mean a fucking goddamn thing. Don't matter who you cool with. You got a motherfucking hater. That could be your fucking cousin, yo. That could be your, your sister, your brother. Shit, it could be your father father and mother. It don't matter, yo. People hate. It could even be your fucking pastor. Just because they're like a quote-unquote man of God doesn't mean that they're like... <laughs> hey, that's, that's bull- People use that as a weapon, too. The A... They do. I've been there. I've been there. And that's why I said demons. Demons. Literal demons out here. And it, it honestly, it, longevity doesn't mean anything because I've known this dude uh, 2019. 2019. Late that's 2019. Right. Yeah, yeah. Hasn't even been a full two years. And honestly, you've been the best. I, I'm not, I'm not, look, 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 look at me. For the people, right, look at me. Look into his I eyes. Don't, I don't fucking do that whole kissing ass shit. I don't fucking respect people that kiss ass all the fucking time. I'm I'm saying real shit. Out of all the motherfucking best friends that I had, this is the best one. Real shit. I'm sorry, I wanted to touch fingers. <laughs> <laughs> go, there, like the, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the other god. Yeah, but you get yeah. <laughs> But you could like just imagine you doing that while I was like no I was trying to, I shit. was trying no I did if you did I would have yo what the fuck I would have been like, yo what the yeah, fuck yeah, that's, you that, doing? that's like, why that's why I held back a little bit <laughs> and then and then and then I was like okay okay he's a uh, I was in I was in my bag yo I was in I my saw, bag I, I was like this is and then you were about to do this shit <laughs> and it went like this it I would have been like yo what the fuck is that yeah it, it was like this like as your hand went away it was like this nah that's that's real man like yo. I've only known this dude for a year and a half. Dog, I tell this guy everything. Just as much as he tells me everything, I tell this guy everything. He is the reason why I'm bringing this content back. He is the reason. He's opened up my mind 
to a lot of things out here as well that I need to just turn away from. You see what I'm saying? Don't put so much pressure on yourself. <laughs> no, that's real. <laughs> hey, but you, hey, you getting into it, but that's real. That's who you've been. And it's sad because, again, I've grown up with people all my life, and they haven't gave as near as what you're giving to me as a friend. I mean, I've been there too, man. A that's, majority that's of my sad, friends is bro. out. It's, 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 you know sad. what? But it's not so sad because we figured it out now. Again, Doc, how many stories do you hear of the like, oh, the best man at my wedding ends up fucking my wife? That's 20 wild. Years in. Some people wait. They wait. Like, they will be friends with you wow. to fuck your wife or your girl. I know people do, that do this shit. Or they wait until you break you up with break the girl up. and then they get with your or ex. until you die. If they and respect I know you a little some bit of more. Y- I'm looking at yeah, they're waiting. Right now. Y'all they're waiting. Doing that. Yeah, they're, wa- they're waiting for you just in case. In you case. nasty. Maybe, maybe you get in a little accident and then you get become a vegetable and they're like, hey, uh, you know, I, Keith has been one of the best friends I've ever had. He's such a good guy. Ah, that God. ain't gonna happen. God. Start crying. Yeah. Guys will fake cry for yeah, pussy. Yeah. Guys will fake cry for some pussy. Like they will, they will believe their awesome. bullshit to the point just to get what that their friend's girl. Fucking loser. Yeah. You fucking loser, yo. You a fucking lame. And and I and I bitch. I, and I don't fuck with those uh people that who try can't to get um, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up, if it, dude, you gotta be oh, careful but, with guys that can't yeah, get no, pussy. No, 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 that's real. And and like say you're at a party, right? Yeah. You're having a good time. You're just being you. It's one of them that be like, yo, chill out, man. What the fuck? And they're around girls. So they try to put you down to yeah. put themselves up. Around the woman. Stepping on you. Yeah, stepping on Like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? And guess what? I've had that. I've had that too. Fuck you. That's what I'm going to say to you. Because look, I ain't going to lie. But first of all, I look good at my age. This is a handsome fucking man. man. I, be, I be seeing look some of y'all. Look at this motherfucker's eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 this look, guy look. got eyelashes. Like, girls love look, that shit, look, man. Look, I'm, I'm doing all that shit. He's got real, muscles and shit. <laughs> Real shit. Fucking handsome. I take I take care of myself. He does. I be seeing. I be seeing. I be, <laughs> he does. Yeah, yeah, he does though. He does. He does. He does. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I be seeing some of y'all. Y'all look like shit. You fucking disgusting. Straight up. You're fucking acting. And on these your are back. the same motherfuckers that that went on me back then. I'm I'm looking at them now. I'm like, yo, what what do they look like today? Shit. Y'all look like hell. You look like a like a le- like a leftover mistake. Leftover. You know why? Because they're miserable. Just like that girl was miserable in Boston. Still guess miserable. What? Guess what? And she's gonna drown in that misery. And guess what? It's gonna show in her face. Because when you're miserable, it shows in your face. When you're happy, it, we see it all the time. You express your happiness. Yeah. She couldn't even say that. She asked, "Why are you happy?" She yeah. is miserable. She's gonna be miserable after this. She's gonna be in the mirror. I can't, I can't, that's that's the new thing. <laughs> she's gonna. Be, she's gonna be, do that one more time. Everything. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna put the laptop outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do that, do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. do that, do that. Do that. Yeah, you yeah, you yeah. sound like one of the gremlins, like Gizmo. She's shit. a fucking gremlin. She's That's gremlin, what I'm man. saying. But She's even gremlin. that, there are all. all there's a lot of friends that are gremlins, man. And like, look, I'm not saying I ain't got no friends, but look, man. At the end of the day, your best friend is yourself. Facts. Love yourself. And God, of course, if you believe in God, which I do. I believe in God. If you don't believe in God, believe in yourself. You are the one. Love yourself and do what you're supposed to do. Do not, and just be careful of the love that you send out to others. And make sure when you send that love out to others, you at least you get it back. That's all. That's all. That's all. Let's not have a conversation. Say if I had a one-on-one conversation with you, some real shit. Yo, I bet your mic is real, man. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, we go... I'm gonna bring the party thing up. We bring we go to a party. Mike acts completely different. But Mike yesterday, he was talking about some real shit yesterday, one on one. But when he goes to a party with other people, he wants to please them and forget about our friendship. Yeah. And I I know people have been through that, man. I be seeing that. I hate it. And I call them out. Call out bullshit. Just like you did. Yeah. Because people are not strong in themselves. And it showed how strong you were. But like, yo, why are you acting like this? Some people. I used to be the one that was silent and people just questioned the whole time and I used to take that in. And I'll be like, man, well, I hate myself. I used to say that shit mm. because no one understood. Instead of asking the question, yo, why are you saying this? Yeah. Why? Are you, what's wrong with you? you? Are you okay? So that's a great thing that you did going up there. 
It's a great thing that you did it's going one up. The, it's one of the best things I could have ever done in my life. You had to. I'm so grateful for it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to cut you off. But I'm going to say real quick. Just just those things, when you get up even more, you're going to have to. You're going you're gonna to even have to. Real talk. But But this, in terms of like intimate relationship, friendship type shit, this was the final lesson I needed to complete the understanding, the, the spidey sense, the alert system, the security levels, right? Yeah. Let's do, let's do a, uh, let's, let's breathe in together real quick. Six seconds in. Oh. Six seconds out. All the way. How much better did that feel? So the, the Navy SEALs do that. I learned that in the book. I do that three times in a row, and I feel like a million times better. Six seconds in, hold it for three, four, five seconds. So breathe good. out all the way. Six seconds, all the way until you got I no air. so good. I feel like I can go. You know what I mean? That, and that's that's the energy we on. Yeah. That's the energy we on, man. Fuck anybody else that tries to kill our own or kill our vibes. You told you know me. What you know what's funny, man? You told me that before I even had a following, before anything. You were like, like when we're doing the background at Space Force, you were like, hey, don't let anybody kill your energy. I told you that. In, in the because past, I, because I saw, I saw the realness. I see, yeah, I saw the realness. I saw the realness. Man, I remember when I first met this dude on set. I came through with my AirPods. I was like, "Yo, I don't even want to be here." I didn't. Just being real, I didn't want to be there. But this dude, crazy motherfucker, he's like, "Yo, what's up?" I'm back. What's up, man? And then from there, it was just blast off. That's that, <laughs> just my best friend. Real talk. It's just like, you know what? Yo, this dude is cool. But I saw while just knowing you more and more, I was just like, yo, this guy's a fucking star, man. I'm <laughs> 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 some real shit. I'm like, yo, this guy's a fucking star. I'm like, yo, he's hilarious. He's hilarious, but he's real. He likes to have fun, but he can be serious. He helps people. Look at it. Set Breaker Podcast. Stand up. YouTube. Instagram. TikTok. But I was like, I don't know. I I just, I saw it. That's what I saw from before all this shit. Before all this shit happened, I was like, yo, you the man, dog. And let them know. I don't want to just talk about that. Like, you no. said that. You said, you said, hey, man. Hey, man. You got that. You got that it factor. And then, and, 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 and then later you're like, yo, man. You were like, because I, I mean, you could get pretty much any girl you wanted to if you went in a relationship. So this this is the dude. Oh, he, I, he, I know. he can get I it know. in no but I'm, problem. I ain't, I ain't but going, that's how comfortable yeah. he is. Yeah, yeah. That's I love, why, I like, love people, my lady, of course. She, yes, of course. She, but, she's amazing. But but she, amazing woman. But you know what's crazy? What? We trust each other trust each other so much that we talk about things like that. Hmm. I tell her. I tell her, hey, this girl said this she laughs. Or she'll be like, yo, this dude is in the message. That's the comfort level we have. I've been with her for so long. We say some shit. Like, we, we're allowed to, we just, we're just so open with each other. Because you guys are secure with not just each other, but yourselves. Of course. And that's the issue when you get with insecure people. That's the danger. That's the danger. And I'm not even just saying it's because of, you know, her, but I was that insecure one too. I would do weird shit just to try to test to see if they actually gave a fuck about me, which is a mixture of like, you know, again, like litmus test to see do they care and sabotage because me me thinking i'm not good enough to have anything right but um yeah the thing that that i believe now that you know i mean you guys don't have to agree with me i don't give a fuck i love myself but that's right but you uh you were like yo man you know you got you got sex appeal i you said got, it. he's like you got sex appeal I said, and, I I mean, said and, and remember i was like really because nobody told me i was like i, I do you're like yeah you don't see it like, but, but you got it mm. you got it and this is before like this was like early on before before all everything happened. all this stuff happened exactly you I needed that shit now. You needed somebody just to tell you. I, I, you know, I saw I saw Mike on some real shit. <laughs> this is crazy. We're on set. He had a suit on. I was like, navy blue, navy blue, brown shoes, right? Yes. Yeah. See, I remember cognac. See, okay. Cognac <laughs> shoes. Chilling. He came through. I was like, and Mike is my brother, man. And you got you got to big up your brothers all the time. If you if you real with your best friend, always big them up, man. Because always. they they'll get to that certain level and be like, "Yo, I knew it, man. I saw it. I'm proud of you." 
So I, was, I looked at him. He was just walking. He was smooth. I was like, yo, Mike. Yo, man. <laughs> yo, man. Uh, no, I was like, yo, yo. And I said, I said, I was like, yo, man. I said, I said, yo, Mike, you got the sex appeal, man. <laughs> you, he looked, he was like, just like, really? I was like, dog, yeah. Because you cool, man. You walking, you being you, you being yourself. And that's the most important, being yourself. And when you be yourself, no matter what you do, they'll see that aura. And he had that aura. And guess what? As a, as a great friend that I am, I explained that aura to him. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what you do. You can fucking collect Funko Pops, which I do. He, he does. And I love Funko Pops. I love anime. You could collect toys. He's, the, he's a cool nerd. Yes, I'm the coolest nerd. I'm a nerd you too. You wouldn't expect it. You, you would just think, oh, yo, he hip hop. Yeah, I am hip hop. But the Funko Pops. <laughs> he, he's more than that. He's everything. I, I love this it is all. A, this is a cultured, worldly man, right? Yes, here. yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, we could yeah. talk about everything. But like, whatever you do, be confident in it. Doesn't matter what it is. Be confident in it. And guess what? People like me, for instance, will say that, yo, that's smooth. That's smooth. And he came, he came through with the suit. And he could be a you could be a collector of suits for all I know. Because of the way you walked, you're like, yo, coming through about to steal the ladies. I was like, dog, yo, you got the sex appeal, man. I was like, that's what I'm talking about. I remember I was like, I, I don't know. I don't know if it was a different set, but I, I saw. I said, like, yo, get that girl, man. Because, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I told you after the fact. I'm like, yo, get that girl, man. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're just being cool and stuff. I was like, I was like yeah, that's like right there. I was, I was being shy, too. And it was a little after the breakup, too, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, had a, I had a, you know, I was like, yo, man, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go yeah. Get that. I was like, all right, all right. And you know what? That was when I had hair. That fucked up, like, military haircut with, like, a little bit of that that, that thinning hair on the front. I was like, right, man. Right. But right now, the dude, if... If I can't wait to wear that suit again, I haven't wear, worn it since I had the, the 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 shaved head and me like knowing myself even more now. Like yeah. I just want I just want to walk in it, you know. Yeah, I just want to walk in a suit and feel good about myself feel good, and to make eye contact with a couple of you know women and a couple of guys because because I'm not because I want guys but I want the guys to look at me <laughs> and be like, yo, yo, you got what, it. Man. What what is who is that guy? Yeah. That's what I want, man. Because you know why? Because I didn't have that growing up. So maybe what? You know what, Boston girl? You're right. There is definitely some stuff from the past, but that's but I'm not an I'm not a piece of shit. Wow. No, that and that's deep what you just said because why not? And, you, and you know what? You know what I was gonna say? Um you saying that you didn't get that growing up. It's just crazy that like you know, my damn it. <laughs> I don't want to say this. <laughs> my, as for instance, like my father. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you afraid to get emotional? No, 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 oh, no, okay, no, okay, no. Cool. I'm just like, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm just like, damn. Like, it all starts from home, man. Yep. Like, it could be just a simple word. But guess what? Me saying that, yo, you had the sex appeal. That will, you will hold that for the rest of your life. Hundred percent. So just imagine if you're my father. <laughs> No, but but you but you okay? Yeah, right. Why'd you hit mom? <laughs> no. Oh my god! No, oh. people, no. Always, people always get uncomfortable right, when I do right. that. It's funny as fuck. Right. No, but I mean it's like, true, but it's fucked up. On some real shit though, like yeah, yeah, yeah. all the parents have to do is say one thing, like tell a girl they may, oh you're you're beautiful. I love my beautiful daughter, or you say, oh I have a handsome son. Those words are powerful. And you'll get to the next level, man. Just giving them confidence. So we, when we see people just blurting out their insecurities and not being comfortable with them, with themselves, I feel sorry for them. You know, I really do. It's sad. It's sad, man. But that's that's really where where it really comes from from home. You know, and I'm glad that we're able to talk to each other. In times like that, because we we didn't get that back at home. So whatever questions that we have, we have questions now. We, look, no, you, you're like, you know what? Nah, go ahead. Put that up there or do that. Or you'd be like, yo, Keith, don't do that. Or Mike, do that. We can talk to each other about that yeah. so we can maintain that level and, and most likely exceed the level that we were on. Just be the best that we can be. So that's 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 all I wanted to bring up, man. And it's just crazy. It's, it's crazy. Just two words can bring confidence. That's yeah, all. yeah, you know what too? Because 
<clears throat> I just thought of it right now. That's why it's important that men have a brotherhood, especially like men. We need other male friends that we can be vulnerable with, that we can be honest with, that we can, you know, we help each other because in a way that almost heals the past wounds from our fathers. Yeah. I just realized that right now. Yeah. So yeah. the more we're like, oh, I, I'm safe around this other man or mm-hmm. man, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, it's okay. Like it, 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 it fixes that shit. Yeah. On top of, you know, other other things we do to go through that. But, like, that's why, I'm, honestly, even with all the things that happened and, and like, how, like, fucked up it was that I got, you know, str- basically, like, left stranded in Boston. Well, left for dead. And left shit. for dead, literally. Yeah. Is, is that I feel, I feel, I feel, <clears throat> maybe not. Go ahead. I feel, <laughs> I was trying to say bad. I don't really feel bad, but I feel uh, for her. I feel for her like a little bit. Because, yeah, that, because that's like, why I said that. Be, yeah, because yeah. the fact that the, one of the last things she said too before that was that I, I remind her of her f- former best friend mm-hmm. and her mom because she's, you know. I understand. But you see, it goes back to like the intimate stuff. Her, She said she wishes that she could have talked to her best friend like, because there was a point where we were like kind of really starting to like try to understand each other a bit more. But even then, at the end of the day, her defense mechanism, mechanisms kicked in and was like, fuck this guy. But she was almost crying. She was getting emotional, like saying that she wished that she was able to talk to her best friend the way we were able to talk at certain points just to kind of try to work, like like to, to like communicate. And she says, she was like, oh, maybe it could have been something. And then even with her mom, she's like, I just can't. You know, so that's why it's it's sad. You know, it- and ultimately, what happened? She continued the pattern. And isn't that, isn't that sad that <clears throat> wow wow no no what you said just said that was powerful because not only that she was aware of her actions but she didn't want to improve them she let her demons take over her can you believe that yeah. there are some people that are actually aware of themselves but they let the negativity drown within them and like you know what no I'm going to let the negative factor in my life continue. Whereas you're not trying to better yourself as a person or have better communication with your friend or maybe your parents per se. You, you, so you're telling me and you're admitting that you know what you're doing, but I ain't going to change it. Yeah. There are people that get stuck in their ways, man. Actually, it's a lot of people. I don't mind. I don't mind changing for the better. But I will not change who I am. Do you understand what I mean? Yep. I ain't going to change who I am for no fucking nobody. But if there's something that I need to improve on, for sure, I'll change that aspect. Yeah. But it's just funny that she was aware, but you can't do it. There's a lot of people that can't do, but all they can do is say. All, there's a lot of people that just talk, but their actions don't. They, it, it's not. It's not the same. It's yeah, that's why. That's why a lot of that was projection because Sad. I reminded her of people, family, her best friend, where it it wasn't working out, didn't work out, and they still have issues with her and her mom, right? So that's the thing because she. Oh, I remember now. She she was saying like, see, like as you talk, I see your brain like thinking about things, like you're trying to work things out. Like she's trying to act like I don't know myself because I'm constantly thinking about things. She's like, yeah, I see you journal every day and stuff. Like, see, you're still figuring it out. I'm like. Yeah, she she was yeah she was talking kind of down to me, and I'm like, yo, you sh- this is a thing that people should be doing, like looking within on the daily. But you see what I'm saying? It was trying to she was trying to fit her own agenda to be like, there's something wrong with this guy. That there's there's envy in that uh, as well, and there's envy. People are ridden with envy. I used to be so envious oh. that I, when people were happy, I would try to find out low key what they were miserable about. I did that for years, for fucking years. So, guys, when you listen to this, I'm not just accusing people of things. I understand people because I understand myself. The more you understand yourself, the more you understand other people and, and like Simple. how they operate. If you, Simple. Right? It, 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 Simple. We are not that different. No. We're not. It's just a different period of time of whether you're going to feel happy or not confident with yourself or confident. I know everybody at a certain point reaches confidence. There is, you know what I'm saying? And them not being confident at the same time. But yes, we all go through the same thing, just not at the same time. You see what I'm saying? Because in that instance, shoot, I used to be like, again, I used to question other people. I'm like, why are you happy? Why are you doing this? Now I'm just like, yo, 
do it. I'm now I'm saying do it. Be happy. Be happy with yourself. It's just a matter of time where hopefully for her, and you know what? We said some things, but at this at the end of the day, I'm praying for you. I'm praying that you see yourself. And it sucks that Mike has to be, you know, that stepping stone for you to see your potential and who you are. But I hope you find that potential. And this is not just to her. This is for everybody else. I want you to find that potential in yourself so you can be happy. You can wake up happy. You can wake up doing what you love to do. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember waking up not knowing who I was and being miserable and then and then projecting that to my girl. And then that's when I had a conversation. She's like, look, you getting sad and depressed. Da, da, da. She finally, you know, she, it was one point. It was, this is like years ago anyway. But, you know, she'd be like, I see how, how you are. And you know what? I'm feeling that too. Because you're sad, I'm sad. So guess what? I had to change that. I'm like, okay, what do I need, what do I need to do to be better? Do I need to stop complaining more? Do I need to start being happy? Start doing the things that I love? Then you start questioning. You start questioning the good things. Like, what's next for me? Well, how can I make myself smile? Okay, maybe I need to write in that journal. Yeah. And that journal, that's the best thing. Because I, I haven't been consistent. But when you were telling me to, like, say, I started editing my, you know, my content for Mills Thursdays. Mills Thursdays plug. But I started, content, uh, started writing it down. Just like you were telling me. When I was writing it down, I was getting things done. Whereas I wasn't, I was getting some things done, but it wasn't like how it was to have it, just check it off the checklist. You writing is powerful. A lot of people don't do that. I don't, you, so you try to do that. Do you do that day to day? I used to do it every day, but now it's kind of, it's kind of like, uh, it's broken up every few days or every other day. Sometimes Shit, that's most days in other a row. people can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I try to, I try to remind myself to do it every day. I, I do my best. Um, and yeah, I mean, the fact that like that showed me she's really been nitpicking and trying to break me apart to see in her mind that what he does that works for him and even a lot of other people, he can't be that happy. Like there's something wrong with him if he has a journal. But then she doesn't even know herself. And she told me verbatim yeah. that I'm I'm depressed. She said that over and over. I'm depressed. I don't you know what I really want. see trying to yell it out to you? Yeah. When I'm telling you again, that's... That's the negative energy. That's negative energy. She's that's the one that they're, they're, she's drinking poison and trying to poison me at the same time. Right. And that's a problem. Like that's something that I learned. Every time I was trying to poison the other person, I was poisoning myself more mm -hmm. than the other person. And sometimes the other person wouldn't be even affected. And I'm getting more pissed off. Like, what the fuck? You know? And I'm dying. I'm dying by my own hand. It's crazy because I got the poison out from the world and then I'll come home and then I'll feel some type of way, right? Then unknowingly. My girl at the time, she's feeling the same way. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, no, I'm getting down too, you know? So, not at the time, I my actual girl now. Yeah, that's what I meant. But Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that confused me for a second. I was yeah, like, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, which one? <laughs> okay, I have multiple now. I'm just kidding. Multiple. I can't do that. I, that's tough. I can't do that. People try to talk like that's like, 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 awesome. It's, for men, we would love that. I'm like, dog. Even one girl? Uh. I'm talking to somebody uh, about that tomorrow. Oh, really? Matter of fact. They live that life? Yeah. He's been living it for over 10 plus years. Wow. So I'm going to be like, okay, how is it? Because <laughs> just imagine our argument, but it's like a love triangle argument in the same house. I'm stressed out just thinking about it. Sheesh. I don't want to. I don't and want And it's that. just not two people. It can be multiple people in that relationship. Because I'd be seeing sometimes on the TV, there's like. Like Mormons, five, six people together. I don't know about. Are Mor Mormons do that or what? I, I mean, that's kind of what they did. I don't know how prevalent it is now, but I know they some still do that. And like they would have, like it would be like these white people, and they have a property, and then they'd have a house for each wife separately, that's right. and then they go, they visit each house. Then there's like eight or them, eight of them, eight and they women. got like three kids for each each, each household. Nuts. So just imagine. You can even like remember all the kids' names, yo. There's no way. How are you gonna mentor them? Do you know how hard it is to mentor one child? Do you know how fucked up those kids are gonna be? Their the level of abandonment issues, their inability to fucking yeah, feel secure. Yeah, there's not enough time. Yeah, like who is this guy? I have to call him dad. <laughs> oh shit! Who the fuck is this guy? 
Dog, you have to go from house to house. Just imagine you got to go house to house. Even, yo, that is wild, yo. Because at the same time, you got to show love to the people in the relationship, too. Not only that, and then the kids. True. You're tired as fuck. And then you have to teach the kids certain things. And, hey, let's play catch or something. My dad even played catch with me. Yeah, he didn't have time because he was dealing with multiple women. (laughs) And then you're not the only child. Yeah. There's so many other kids too. You can't even fuck all of them in one day. I can't bust eight nuts in a day. Can you? I can't. Nah, man, we're old, man. It we hurts. can't do that shit it hurts. no more. Dude, dude. As kids, I, I did. That was eight? Like, not eight. Well, well, eight. oh, actually, yeah, yeah. You did eight? Yeah, yeah, I did. I was, I was like, how the fuck? Twenty one, twenty two. Yeah, eight man. times in a day. Not like eight times, but okay, probably it was there. Yeah, it was. Dude, because after the my third, di- my dick the, hurt. That's what I'm saying. No, the no, third no, time like, it hurt. No, it was like it hurt. It, it hurt, and to the point I was just like, "Yo, what the fuck?" Like my <laughs> shit, yo, my shit was, <laughs> my shit was acting weird, yo. I was like, "Yo, what the fuck?" Like it's tearing from the inside out. Huh? No, I thought I thought I was like I had a fucking STD or some shit. That's oh, like, how was, like, like the clap or some shit. Yeah, I was like, Yo, what the fuck? But it, obviously there wasn't there. Thank God, you know what I mean. But it was with one woman the whole time. She was like, "Let's have sex. Let's have sex." Because I I went to homecoming and I needed to uh, to stay somewhere. I'm not gonna name the girl, but um, I stayed somewhere and obviously we're we were with each other. We're down. I needed somewhere to stay. I went yeah. over there. And it was on sex the whole. It was the day just going off. Da da da. da. Was it even fun for you? Well, at what number? What did it start to just be like? What the fuck? I didn't. I didn't give a fuck. Oh, you didn't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, because you're young too back then. So yeah, that's just like, young, yeah, yeah, you're right. When you're, you're right. young, it doesn't fucking matter. Even yeah, if we're hurts. ready to go. Yeah. The, I don't know if it was eight, but man, it. I'm gonna be real. It was like six, that's a seven. Lot. That's a fucking lot, man. And I've I've done that more than you know once. I've never you know, done that. There's no point, you know. Now we're we're, <laughs> we're at an age of like you know we have sex. Oh yeah, you good? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, definitely. And then that's it. Yeah, yeah you, yo, you okay? It's not like when I was in my early twenties, man. No, 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 no. No one's doing that whole bullshit. And if you are, yo, shout out to y'all. Like, congratulations, you know. Good on you. Have fun. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, whatever. But yeah, man. No, no. We too old for that. I don't know. I, I for me, no. no. No, I don't want that. No, no, no. Like we, after this, we got work to man, do, man. Fuck. Yeah, we got shit to do. <laughs> that shit is gonna. You're done. You're sleeping like a fucking baby after that shit, dude. I'd rather just have like one girl that rides for me, That's where right. we know how to communicate and work things out without taking everything offensively and sensitively right. and with insecurity, right? And just build on that because like I'm over. Like I, I would fantasize about the oh, whenever I get famous, like all these girls are gonna. That's just ego. Because when I think about it, and I'm actually like. You know, I'm at like a very low level of just like of people knowing who I am. I'm just like, yo, that's not even it. That's not even cool because I don't even. Some people just want to take photos with me because just because they recognize me, but they don't yeah. really fuck with me, and yeah. I, I, that doesn't make me feel good. Yeah, like that happened recently, and and I'm just like, not, then you feel like an object, and mm. even with sex, like guys are like, oh, you're just fucking this, like, dude. So I just, I just, dude, I just want to hold hands with the with the girl, <laughs> and then and then just like in silence while I'm driving, and just and just know. <laughs> And just that's know, that, like, this is my ride or die. You could tell, like, we're, you know what we're, I mean? we're definitely uncles. I know, right? We're uncles, uncle shit. Yeah, we uncle as shit right now. The young no. kids listen to this, the dudes are like, like, fucking pussies. Right, they're pussies. They, yeah. Oh, trust me. Like, why would you want to fuck? I've had plenty of pussy. And now I'm just like, you know what? I'm good. I got my lady. Yeah, man. Fuck I'm just it. happy. One one time, one, one sex session for the day is enough. Not yeah. eight. You got other shit to do. We, we do. I, you can't think after like, even after the first time. If you do two in a, two in a row, you just come up. I feel stupid. Two's cool. Three is just three is whoa. Three is, three is like, like you better commit the whole day to just like hang out and do nothing. Yeah. If it's yeah. gonna be three, because I'm gonna just gonna be tired. Yeah. It's the energy. It's you know, and it's real, man. It's it's your energy, and she was probably taking your energy too. Boston chick. Oh, 100 percent, man. It was draining. She no, was telling like, me that no, I was like draining? sex. Sex, pretty sure. Like, oh, dude, when I was over there, um, we we could have had sex, but we only did like one hookup thing. But it was just hand stuff because I couldn't get hard, man. I couldn't get hard because like I already knew like you reject me as my soul, and like we don't oh, vibe shit. like that. I couldn't get it up to even enter her. <laughs> Straight up, I don't have dick she problems. Was that, no, good. It was a, good, it was good, a personality good. problem. Wow, that's so that's where that, I'm at now. And 
and she looks good, but the personality was shit. Just the lack of vibes and all that wow. shit. Now, 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 I'll say this. I'll Damn, say okay, son. okay. Just, just to like devil's advocate, I'll just say this. Look, her hard. personality. I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to say like she's just like a shitty, horrible human being. She's not. I don't think that. But yeah, yeah. she did some horrible shit to me over the weekend. But at the same time, um, I think it's just because she's in a lot of pain, and I, and I know it's because she's in a lot of pain, and she's just trying to figure shit out, and she's got a lot of things on her back on her that she's got to deal with, uh, like life stuff, and 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 I understand that, but it's still not an excuse to try to like just take it out on people and and you know whatever the fuck that was yeah you know um but yeah we don't vibe no. we don't vibe and like at all st- wow. that's what happens when you, i'm sure she'll find somebody else like a like a white dude because she wants to be white and then she'll be like oh hey like i'm 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 like a white person like now i'm happy i'm with the white guy that means i'm white so she's just trying to be accepted and she hasn't accepted herself she hasn't accepted herself no no <sighs> Well, you know, I did cuss her out on here, but at the end of the day- That's because you care about me. Yeah. That's it. But I I, I pray for you. Um, Anybody could be a bitch, man or female, you know? Don't just know who you are before dealing with a relationship, man. You know, that that's really what it comes down to. Like, for real, it could be anything. It, even a relationship with a friend. Know who you are. Know how you act. Know what your tendencies are. People don't even know what their tendencies are. How, like, how? How? How can you just go outside and just act? Or say things? And not knowing what the other person's feeling like. You know what I mean? Like, how could you just be like, you know what? Yo, you're... Stop doing that. Yeah, stop but, being you. Do you know that? Why? Why? Yeah. Why are you doing that? So like, yeah, why check spending, yourself. Yeah, why are you spending all the time trying to break down what's wrong with this person? Well, you need to check yourself. Yeah. You know? Oh, Life's man. better that way, man. Be simple, man. Simple, but complex, man. And yeah. Really, the takeaway from all this is just evaluate, know yourself well, do your best to understand yourself, but also evaluate others and don't just take anything they, everything they say as truth because that there's a danger in that. That's also why social media is a tough world to navigate because yeah. when you read these comments, even me to this day, certain comments I read, I don't know these fucking people. They have an anime photo. They don't know me. I don't know them. There's a and lot of people with the anime photos. And it'll, it'll fuck me up for that it'll day. It'll fuck you up. So, but what do you look you know, like? Yeah, exactly. What do you look like? <laughs> but then that's a whole other thing. That's a whole other thing. We don't know. We don't know these people. And I, yo, I wanted to shout out, um, what's his name? Ant, Ant Russo or something? Yeah, Ant Russo. Good look, good look. Ant Russo. Russo. Ant Russo. Ant Russo. Yo, you my boy, man. And you know where that came from? That came from him. Because you were a fan of Mike. He's one of my biggest supporters. And you love his shit. And then all of a sudden. Shout out to you. You know, we did that live one day and I was like, yo, Ant, yo, you a cool dude. Cool dude. And Tammy. Shout out to you, too, Tammy. Man. Tammy's, Tammy's, you, Tammy's a real one. Those are that. That's just like the realest two for me. I love y'all. Yeah, but yeah, anyway. you the ones, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so, uh, just again, just to clarify. This is this was not just like a, a shit talking session. No, 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 no. This no, is no. an uh, reevaluation, uh, self analysis, mm-hmm. uh, and you need another person to like help make sense of certain things too. And uh, yeah, just fucking. Yeah, get some. I hope you got you guys got some shit from this. And it's not, yeah. Again, you know, I'll, I'll go off too because it's not. It ain't. It ain't woman bashing. Nah, you know no, 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 no. It's it's person bashing. You know what I mean? Like whoever you're dealing with, if they have that toxic energy, that toxic flow, realize that and handle it accordingly. Handling it accordingly is walking away. I know I'm I'm sounding old as shit. Walking away from this situation or addressing it head on. Don't internalize any of the insecurities that they have themselves and try to project it to you. Do not. That's the one thing I can say. Do not internalize it. Whatever man or woman is going through, do not internalize that negative energy from other people. Please don't. Never. Because you will not live and you're not going to be happy with yourself. Be proud of yourself. Be you. Do what you're supposed to do. And be like Mike, man. Make all them crazy sounds. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> all the, all the, all the, yeah. yeah man have fun yo have fun in this world please just have fun be have fun and be you he told me that i would have conversations that i'll be like oh you got to be like this 
And I, I try to have a projection of what L.A. was like. Oh, you got to be like this in L.A. And so I'll just be suppressed. But he's like, yo, be the fuck you. It took me, him telling me that took me like a fucking, like almost a year to realize what he's saying to me. So when I took that in, I'm like, yo, Mike, thank you. Thank you. So basically just have fun. Be you. Do what you do unapolog unapologetically. And just smile. That's it, man. Be inquisitive like a kid and don't care like an old person. Damn, that was good. Be inquisitive like a kid and don't care like an old person. Yeah. People, the world, society, family, even friends, mm -hmm. coworkers, whatever. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to try to tell you who to be based off of the way you look, your your ethnicity, race, religion, whatever. Mm -hmm. They're going to categorize you and expect you to be a certain way per person, however, whatever it is. Yeah. And what I've learned is we have to say fuck you to that because there was, dude, I mean, I started smoking cigarettes because I thought that made me more Korean because <laughs> a lot of Koreans smoke cigarettes, right? I mean, I don't it's know. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, yeah a lot of Koreans. It's, it's, it's a thing. Like, all the movies, they smoke cigarettes. Koreans smoke cigarettes. They drink a lot of alcohol. They're fucking alcoholics and shit. A lot of them. <laughs> right? So, I started drinking even more. I'm like, this is what it is. Right, I'm more right. Korean. You're trying yet, to fit the standard. Yeah, but I could barely speak Korean. So, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Why don't I learn the language first, right? But anyways, there's like things that we think is like uh, we're supposed to be. Who the fuck? What? What the fuck is this? Like, you take away all that stuff. That means nothing. We're all in this physical human like meat sack body thing and then we're we have to be a certain way because of shit that's been passed on to generations yeah. whether like stereotypes whatever yeah. like, like idealism trying to fit a system yeah it's a system it's just like but what's the system it's broken what does it matter when it's we're broken. all gonna fucking die, die at the end of the day so why don't we just be the best us that when i told myself i'm gonna be the best me as possible not the best korean american guy or the this that that but me yeah that's when the shackles came free mm -hmm. and that's what, like like her saying boston chick saying we don't do that in the east coast i was like oh i have friends in the east coast that i'm really close with it's not like that yeah. And she's like, well, well, maybe they're they're like, because they're transplants, they adapted to LA life. I'm like, no. That was an actual fucking debate we had. And I'm like, and and, and I didn't say this, but I, what I wanted to say was, I have more friends than you. I meet more people than you. You don't know what you're fucking talking about. You yeah. lived in Boston for a year and a half. Yeah. Just because you lived in different places in the US mm. doesn't mean you understand people. Right. Yeah. It doesn't mean that. I mean, fucking people in the East Coast. Yeah, people in the East Coast. I'm from the East Coast. Virginia. Yeah. Virginia. <laughs> and, and you're Virginia, man. And yeah. You, and, you go on, and you talk to strangers. Yeah. So what the fuck is she talking I talk about? To, I talk to them. You know, it doesn't matter where you're from. Like, you just... <sighs> yeah. I know. Man, I feel so good letting this all out. You I, do you? I do. I was going to ask good. you. After this, like, I, I'm going to make stand-up jokes about this, but I'm not going to... Like, I don't, I don't need a... Drag, drag, Dra drag it on to try to figure out more stuff. I already figured it out, especially after this talking and putting it out there, and then you know, yeah. help people out and stuff. Yeah, and it, yeah, again, and this, this will help people. Yeah, this will help me, because at the end of the day, even talking, it's making me aware of myself and certain things that I say to who, you know, to anybody else, you know, in my actions, you know, you just got to be cool. Just like if you're at certain events, okay, hopefully I'm okay today so you know people see that i'm a cool person or whatever you know that not not letting your insecurities just be in front that's all let let the insecurities play in the background and let your happiness play the main character <laughs> why are you looking at me like that your eyes were I like brought, half open, I brought that, half open eyes i brought that up because i remember you asked you asked a question on instagram um are you the main character oh, or background. do you play the background did anybody vote background? Yes. Whoever voted background, please. Just I'm not, and I'm not saying this out of a joke or anything. I'm just saying this out of love. Don't ever pick that in in your life again. You are the main character. I, I wanted that whole thing to be a hundred percent because he asked that on his Instagram, and I I just typed motherfucker. 
I just put that. I was like, yeah, main character. Be the main character if you like. I saw that. Mm -hmm. How many, okay, how many people voted for background? Oh, you about to look right now. Let's do it right now. Let's pull it up. Let's is make it, it is easy. Is it still there? Uh, it might have went away during the but conversation. It, was it a, was oh, it a, it's still uh, up. Let me screenshot this. Um, 63% said, I always and forever, I'm the main character. 37% said, I'm the background. And in terms of the numbers, 336 said main character. 202 said background. Wow. Yes. That's staggering. That's a lot. But yeah, but how, I, how would you uh, huh? ev evaluate those numbers real quick? How would you um, what would you say to that when people pick a background? Is that am I making it a big deal? I th well, yes and no because I I feel the same way. But then it's because of the responses I got that makes it more clear for me. Because obviously you don't oh, you, you, got you don't have responses. my Instagram, so you're not gonna be able to right, see the responses. Right, right. Their reasoning for choosing background is just because like of what where they fit and even like the jobs and stuff. Okay, so. Uh, what we're talking about as main character is like life, like like living your truth mm -hmm. and not diminishing yourself. However, some of the people who choose background, the answer for background is just some other reasons, variables, whatever the fuck it is. But there's also others who are choosing background for what we're talking about. Like they see themselves as I'm not that guy or that girl. Right. And. I, I mean, ultimately, regardless, it's still good to see yourself as you are the hero of your own fucking story. Just because you're not doing like you're not doing like stand up comedy, maybe you're an accountant, doesn't mean you're not a fucking hero in your own story. That's right. Just That's you're, right. you're not you, you're still a fucking hero of your own fucking story. Like you're you're taking care of bills, you're helping people, maybe your family, maybe your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, wife, husband, kids, whatever. You're still you don't. It's not about being loud, volume wise, yeah, and 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 publicity wise, but it's just mm -hmm. being. Someone is always the hero. Someone is always the hero because no matter what you do, there is someone looking at you too. You know, and why I say that is like you could be the best, again, you could be the best accountant and they might not say it to you head on, but they, you know, they might think, man, that guy is really good. Like, yo, he's following all these things or whatever, turning things in time. Like, yeah, you're right. You could be the main character of whatever it might be, but yeah, just because you're not a public figure per se or... Again, I'm just going off what he's saying, but that, but I'm agreeing as well. You know what I mean? Like you are the hero in whatever you do. You know, you can be a hero plumbing, whatever. It's and even if you're lost, even if you're lost trying to find yourself, yeah, the heroes of these stories, mm -hmm. a lot of them are underdogs. A lot of them are just getting their their footing. I feel it. I right? feel it. Maybe okay. like a, somebody trying to be a boxer, and then yeah. they fucking suck dick. But they're like I, in the beginning. But they're like, I want this. Like yeah. I want to do this. This I'm gonna fight to get out of like a poverty stricken area or whatever right. it is and then they right. their work ethic gets them out of there he's a fucking hero yeah a hero doesn't mean you're already the main the the, the uh, fucking killing it right right it's the intentional actionable moves you make mm -hmm. to keep going forward just like the the was it rocky four or five whatever fuck i don't remember which one where he's like uh, you know the, the paraphrasing here but it's the, you, the hit you yeah you keep getting I hit you keep five. going forward right yeah yeah it was five yeah. you keep going forward mm -hmm. with the hits mm -hmm. and you should be proud of the fact that you can take the hits even when they hurt and you're still going forward even if you're staggering forward yeah yeah barely making it forward but yes. you're still going forward exactly and uh, yo Wow. Even even going off of that, we, we need to be appreciative of moments like going to Boston or even moments of being mm -hmm. depressed and being sad because at least we get to go through it. There are people that are dead right now that wish they could be in our position yeah. to even to even be sad. You know what I mean? So take advantage of every single moment. I like what you said right there, man. Yeah. I really do. And I, yeah, that hit me, bro. Yeah, yeah, it really did. Damn, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was real, man. And, and honestly, I'm not, I'm not taking anything for granted anymore, no matter what it is. And um, for me, that would be for me is, um, and I can say it on here too. For me, less complaining, you know, and more doing. And and, and as a human, we. We will, you know, complain or 
be sad or anything. But at the same time, if I do complain, kind of have a resolution in my head as well. Battle that negativity and, and be like, okay, what can I do to at least, you know, complain less or be happy more or, or do more? What what can I do to be better? You know what I'm saying? So that that's that's what I'm putting my energy towards. You know what I mean? So answer is also to that is gratitude. That's why this Boston thing, again, not one ounce of my soul feels that it was, it's like, like, oh, it's fucked up. My life's fucked. Yeah. Duh, there's some stuff that's fucked up that happened, but I don't feel like, oh, bad about it at all. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited that I was, I was able to recover so quickly with, with the way I feel emotionally. Yeah. Like it just mm. took, a, it didn't take that long. And then me understanding like the good that I got out of it, the lessons I've learned that's only going to carry me further into my life and add more positivity to there. It's just, I get excited when shit happens because I know it's going to make me better. Yeah. That's why I get excited no matter what fucking happens, no matter mm -hmm. what now. But it took time to train myself to get to this point, you know, and, and you know, even with everything, um, shit, mm. like, I don't, I don't have ill will towards anybody. I, no. I'm, I'm just, we pray for you. great, man. We pray, in, you know, for you. I hope um, she gets happy. Like, I, hope, I hope she I hope. figures it out. Honestly, I do. We, we're intense, you know, but again, we're going back to you. Get better. Do what you're supposed to do. Be happy. But I wanted to go off. Uh, I, I don't want to forget it. I don't want to forget it. I don't want to forget it. Because. um. Got it. So you going through that. Right. Yeah. I'm glad you were able to um, get over that so quickly because you know yourself. And a lot of people not knowing themselves and they were caught up in that situation, it can ruin them for the rest of their life. Just that little moment, just a, just, just a little moment of, again, putting your stuff out, that could, not even knowing yourself, that could have just destroyed you, bro. That could have destroyed, that could have, you couldn't have done this, this pod, you know? Yeah. Nothing. Started questioning a lot of things, but you knew yourself, you're like, you know what? It's okay. And hopefully... Again, whoever's watching this, they pick that up as well. Let's try to not make uh, certain situations too out of hand. Let's try to stay in pocket and be like, you know what? What can I do to just to ease the pain that I went through? What, what can I do to make it better? Don't worry about the other person. Just worry about what you can control. You know what I mean? And that's what you controlled. And it's hard. It's hard, man. Mm. So I, I got to give you props. It's hard because, and I, I don't want to bring this up, but I will because we're brothers. When you went to go visit your dad's grave. Grave, yeah, yeah. See the evolution that's happened? That took you a long time. Yeah, 10 years. That's what I'm after saying. his death. After his death. And that's what I'm saying because you realize, you're like, you know what? I need to go visit. Yeah, yeah. That new person, right, that you were was the same person you went to Boston. True, true. You went through all that shit. Yeah. You could have held on for 10 years, Better. right? And I could have fucked you up. But you're like, you know what? It's cool. I only can control what I can control. And not journal. anybody else. And you know help with that? Journaling. Journaling. Journal. <laughs> no, nah, it's real. No, nah, it's real. But no, props to Journaling. you. Journaling. Props to you about that, man. Because a lot of people, man, they, they go through, they might go th through something even smaller, but hold on for years about it. That's what I'm saying, man. That's where For the pain years. comes from. That's what makes people want to hurt other people, all that shit. Yeah. So that's why letting go of the whole, my resentment towards my dad and everything, like that's why I was able to let go of this so easy because that's, forgiving my father truly 10 years after his death was one of the toughest things I've ever had to do on like a human emotional level. So with this girl, that's why I don't have like, like I hate you. I don't, I'm like, dude, if anything, she might be fucking hating me. Yeah. Just cause, just cause of how, just whatever other stuff that's going on within her. But you know what? Ultimately, man, like, and, and, and you're right. And if it was a couple years ago, five, six years ago, this would have fucked me up to the point where I would not trust women or dating. No, no, no. Because I, like, I would have, I would have grouped it as like a, it's like, it's all women, you know, because that's, it's easy to do, right? Because yeah, our then, brains, human brains not, like to simplify yeah. things and categorize things, but it's not a woman thing. Yeah. Guys do stupid shit like this too. It's just, it's just a fucking uh, individual moment in time. That's what it is. I'm not gonna judge a whole group of people or or anything for it. It's just, it just, it is what it is. Yeah, because no, even 
dealing with the ex at the time, you know, and I was there. Let's be real. You had so many questions. Oh, the last ex, right? The recent one, yeah, yeah, that two-year one. Yeah. The yeah, two-year yeah. relationship. That That's you, right. And I was on your ass about that. She. You know what I mean? But you had so many questions like, yo, what can I do? Or blah, blah, blah. So, it was just so many at the end of the day. But as time went on, I was like, yo, you good? It's all about timing, for real, just to know yourself. And if you again, if you went through that situation, which you did, Again, unfortunately, this past weekend, you handled it. You handled it, handled it so quickly. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like a day, a day after you're like, yo, let me just talk about this so I can just get it out of my head. A lot of people like internalizing things like this and then they start questioning themselves and then they go down a dark hole. It's that easy because I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> it's very easy to it's go down that way. E It's so easy just to put yourself to shame. And, you know, you could have. You know, you didn't really ask questions. You're just like, yo, I can't believe it. it's like it's more of like, I can't believe I'm going through this again. When, the way you were talking to me. It was no question. It was just more like, damn it again. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, what the hell? You know what I mean? You're like, yo, all right, yo, let's just get this podcast. Let me just let me just get away from this shit. Yeah. And this this helps me as well. Not only does this help you, but it helps me as well. Because, again, who are the real ones? around me who are the ones that i could be real with who are the ones that i could just be goofy and they laughing or or i'm mad one day and then i can express myself and then you know they'll make me feel better after that or if i'm sad any any way and honestly even thinking through this and you asked the question earlier i really don't have people like that i got some but it's okay yeah, yeah. but i'm a, but i'm i'm Honestly, I'm fine with that because I'm able to weed out the fake from the real. I honestly, I got you, mm -hmm. got my sister, um, you know, Ron. Shout out to you. Mm -hmm. And those are the ones that were it's like a hundred, though, right? Yeah, cousins. My cousins, cousins I, met, I, met, I met them. They were cool. Yeah, I fought. And I my fuck girl. That's it. You ride or die. That's it. And I don't, and, I, don't, and, and, I, I mean, and honestly, man, like. It's just, it's, it's not, these circles that we have, they're not really going to get that big. It's just kind of impossible. Even for me, like, there's people in my life that, like, I, I adore and I like being around them too. But there's not many people that are in, in the inner, inner circle. And that, once you know, once you can, like, separate those two, because, and I know you do, that's why, you, like, you're able to be like, okay, no, that, that's who they are. And, but I got these people. Then yeah. life is fine because you don't, you don't feel like they have, not everybody has to be your best friend, No family. one owes me shit. Your fucking your lover sorry, everything sorry, yeah nobody owes nobody, <laughs> nobody owes me nobody shit. owes us shit man yeah. no we don't owe people shit they don't owe us shit even if they give us shit mm -hmm. they decided to give it to us so fuck them if they're like you owe me no no fuck you you gave it to me right then fucking like then you did you didn't do it out of love you did it because you felt you wanted to use it as leverage so fuck you then mm -hmm. fuck you little bitch. <laughs> no real talk who is he talking to who is this guy talking to why is he so angry somebody I mean yeah, at the end else. of the day like. We're not, and, and the thing is, like, someone who doesn't know themselves, maybe even watching this, is like, yo, why are they so angry? Nope. It's not anger. It's passion. 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 See? I didn't, we didn't rehearse that shit. We We're not like, yo, one, two, three, passion. No. The reason why I call this guy my brother is because we understand each other. And we don't take advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? I want him to get to that level. He wants me to get to that level. That's... That's what friends are there for. And that's what friends do for each other. If actual I, friends. Actual friends. You know what I'm saying? Be careful now, calling everybody friend. Yeah. That, which that's I what to. hurt me. And I did that too, man. I'll call them friend and I'll be like, oh, because they're under the umbrella of the label of friend. Right. They have to do these things. And, and, and it's just, it, that, that's not it. And you know what sucks, man? I, I realized throughout the years, like, and I'm not saying this in all cases, but comfort sometimes breeds disrespect and when i say that it's more like the more you're around somebody sometimes and they're not aware of the friendship they just start saying disrespectful shit out of nowhere you know what i'm saying i'm just like wait what what what, 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 what happened <laughs> like i'm all started like what, 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 what happened like yeah. it's why you know 
I, am, am I tripping? True. Like, I know. Like, I've I've seen that over the years. And then... True. Very true. And then... It's sad. The more the older you get, you lose friends. Why is that? That sucks. It does, man. Like, I, I just wish things were just simple. Like, oh, yeah, he's cool. The other part is so cool. But it's not. But it just sucks because... And that's, like, in all the cases that I've just seen from older people, people who are older than me, they don't have like a crazy friend circle like a friend circle of like 15 10 to 15 people now if they do i'm like oh shit i got like a good like for real maybe five that i can put in and be like, hey what's up but you know why is that why is that because they get they see they they see who people really are they, it just sucks like what what that life is right there in terms of friendship and the numbers just dwindle every time you get older it's just for me, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's the case for everybody. I'm not saying everybody goes through that. It's just what I've seen, you know? Um, Have you been through that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Dude, fucking over and over and over. And uh, it used to bother me, but, like, I get it. Like, it's just, it's just life's way of, when we say filter, sometimes it feels like it's just got to be a one and done deal. But it's a, it's a constant filtering. Like when you get that sand from the playground and you keep trying to get that soft sand, mm -hmm. but sometimes pebbles get through. Mm -hmm. but, but we're not trying to get those pebbles. We're trying to get to the fine soft sand, the pure soft sand. And that mm -hmm. comes with experience, time, mm -hmm. age, and self-awareness. Mm -hmm. And that is what makes me happy because I, I, I just accept people as they are. Mm -hmm. They don't got to be my closest friends. Right. I, 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 we work in this instance, and they do some like slightly like shady stuff here and there, and, and like once in a while. But it's nothing like gonna like really fuck me over. But I can see, you know, that like there's qualities and times that you like your insecurity or envy flares up to where I know I can't 100 percent trust you. But it's okay because I'm not expecting that you have to be fully trustworthy. I'm not gonna demonize you, right. but we can still be friends because we do have good times. Right. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm at with people. Mm. you know and then the ones that like kept proving themselves like you i mean we haven't even known each other like that long honestly but but Go the ahead. crazy thing is that's what ties back to like the fuck history history means bullshit and you and you know you're, you're like you're like in the inner 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 circle because like yeah. i mean i mean i mean it, it was just like a natural thing that's what i'm saying like you just you meet people in your life and and then you just kind of like it just kind of works yeah you know what i mean so um and and like you know seeing them showing their imperfections and the other the other party embracing that and and still being like i fuck with that like that's just them instead of just like that yeah, has a problem you got issues like that that we all got issues yeah. but same with relationships friendships like that's a thing it's just embracing their imperfections and whatever makes them them because like you what what boston looked at as imperfection to me you mm -hmm. and my other closest friends are just like don't even see that as an imperfection you just it's just mike right that's what I'm saying. It's just, it's just me. That's just and you. And you're learning, blah, blah, blah. though. You learn as you go. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So it's uh, people to are me, ignorant it's and they stop. And they stop. That's why she was like, "You still journal, duh." You learn as you go. Duh, and yes, I journal. And I was gonna ask, even just you know, you talking about a friendship, like yo, it's just it's crazy. Like it's crazy how we became. Good ass friends. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, I shit, I'll say it. Best friend, like one of my best. Friends. Actually, yeah, yeah, you probably, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. You, I mean, I mean, yeah, it, yeah. There's no like, I'm even thinking. I'm just like, nah, no, no. I'm like naming people. No, you, got, no, you, yeah, 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 like you, you and like, and, and well, and then and then of course, I, I, like my other homies listening to this too. Yeah, like we're like family too. But right. um, and it, I literally, it's, it's a have, handful. I mean, that's what I mean. Just like a small, tiny. And I, I forgot just these two, like just the three people. One, it's my cousins, yeah. D, I'm cool with, and you. And I remember, you know, you came to the party. So I was like, yo, come through. Yeah. Nothing but good times. You see what I'm saying? Good time. And everybody looked different. Ain't nobody looked the same. Everybody was just in there having fun. You know what I mean? No judging, no hate. No judging, there was no hate. Everybody no trying to out alpha one another. I hate that the most, man. Yeah. Was, <laughs> I hate when people meet me and then like, especially like if they feel like, Oh, they, they know who I am. They feel like they got to prove something to me. They feel like they have to be more confident than me or whatever. And I'm just there just trying to just be human. Like, I I, I want to separate the Mike Kim comedy from just, like, yeah. I'm just. Yo, what's up? 
Because it's still me. I'm st- I'm still the Mike Kim comedy. Like that's me. But like it's just like you don't have to view me as that. Whatever the fuck that is. Just just be. I'm just me, yo. Just talk. Yeah, yeah. Just chill. Like fuck, you know. Yeah. So I don't know, man. It's it's cool though. Like I I I. I chose this life. I was talking to my my friend Sam about this. We chose a life where we're mm-hmm. in the public view, and it comes with certain things that that we make certain parts of our lives tougher, especially dating, because we, we it's it's tough to know if they're with you for the clout, mm. like, and their perception of you is very altered because of the numerical value, mm. or, or uh, you know, just just whatever the fuck else that comes with that, yeah. Versus uh, you for you. That's a tough thing that I have to, I'm going to have to continue to navigate as I grow. That's why it's cool that you have a girl that you've been growing with. Been growing. At, from you know, the, from right? the start. From the start. And yeah, I was from the start. And I was going to ask you, do you think that was the situation um, again with this one? You know. Uh, yes. Yeah. Because she even said, you yeah, know, I thought you were like going to be di- yeah, you thought I was gonna be a specific way, and you probably she's like, yeah, because you're 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 like she's like the videos were funny and all that, but at the same time, what you thought is just you idealizing me based off of yeah. how good you felt off of the comedy aspect, but you haven't been around somebody who's in person who's willing to challenge you on your shit, mm-hmm. unlike these other guys, these quote unquote beta guys that you complain about being around and dating. Right. Who are agreeable with you, yeah. but as soon as you meet somebody who's opinionated, oh, you got a problem. Then you have a problem. So you see, <laughs> that's the that's the hamster wheel. Yeah, yeah, no, and um, yeah, that it's it's unfortunate that you have to go. Th- it's fortunate and unfortunate because you get to see who's real and who's fake for real. But it's just a process of that because they might get introduced to Mike Kim comedy. And, you know, they see you on your videos, you know, they see the heckler video, they see the fuckboy videos, they see poop videos. They see- <laughs> I do talk about poop a lot, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I love talking about gotta poop. Got to shit, man. But, <laughs> we but all shit. You got to. Um, to many more ways of Mike Kim comedy, but those videos are still not the true definition of who you are. You see what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. a lot of people need to get away from that base. Well, I'm just saying, you know, her and anybody else that meets you, like Mike Kim Comedy is just not those videos. He's more than that. But ask him. And he's open. He's open. You know what I'm saying? I think the podcast helps too. If they yeah, actually yeah. listen to the podcast, because the podcast is me being very like, Pretty you're, fucking. You're like, I'm not a lot yeah. out there, dude. No, no. I, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> she didn't listen to my podcast. <laughs> if you listen to my podcast, yeah, then no. and then like and and dude, I mean Adam Sandler, he married a fan, but that's because she fucked with his like goofiness. All people hate Adam Sandler movies. I love his shit. So you either hate him or love him, and it worked out Happy for him because he found though. he found a great wife. You know. So like, I'm not saying this is only going to hurt me because it's not. I mean, it's gonna. It's also bring people into my life. That it's just that really fuck with you though. At the same time, because yeah. what I that's why I do my best to put out that me. Good. And the podcast is the fucking way, especially. Which is why I'm so grateful for the fucking podcast. So I yes, watch the videos. Watch my Kim comedy videos, but also get a deep dive of who he truly is on the set break podcast as well. Do the deep fucking dive. So that's guys, in life too, man. I think I think we did a pretty good wrap up yeah, on this, man, huh? We did. Yeah, how you we, feel, we, man? We, we, you good? I feel good because because I was like, huh, we're going pretty hard in the fucking thing, but no, we did, and, and it's real. We're being real. Yeah, no, you have to. You got to be real. Yeah, I can't um, fake I was, it. I was real with my emotions, and I I'm not gonna you know take anything back. But no. at the end of the day, and I'm not taking shit back. Fuck that. But um, you know, going uh, you know for you and anybody else, please. Do a deep dive on yourself. Be happy with yourself. Um, yeah, just and I hope you're watching this. You're seeing two vulnerable vulnerable people. We put it right here on the table and we discuss it. You know, we discuss it. Do not be scared to discuss things that bother you. Cause he called me. Something bothered him. We talked about it. Something bothers me. I call him all the time. I'm not holding that shit. And I'll just tell him I'm, I am not. And if you if you have somebody that you can express to easily. Do it. And if, and if they accept you, that's a real one. But if they're questioning like, yo, why do you always ask me that about this? This is the 11th time. No. No. 
he might say something repetitive 10 times, but I'm going to help him the 10th and 11th time so he doesn't even have to ask me that anymore because I want him to the next level. That's what friends are there for. He can be repetitive all he wants. I could be repetitive. It ain't going to bother him, but we're going to help each other yeah. to get oh, to that Oh, she hated point. that about me too. What? She's like, you said that like three times. I'm like, yeah, but this is a different context. And that's, this is and exactly- even, even in this one, even at that last time I said it, like the third time, it was to prove her point of me agreeing with her. I was saying, no, that's why I agree with you. And she's like, she's like, oh, oh, okay. Well, I mean, I was just like, I was like, oh, here we go again. I'm like, oh my God. You know what I mean? She rejected everything of me, but but I I, I know we're going back it's, to it, but no, it's okay. but it's okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but just but that's it. Find who you are. Find who you are. That's it. Accept yourself. Enjoy your life. You don't have to accept everybody. You don't have to accept me. Whatever. Fuck it. Exactly. But um, I'm glad that uh, this happened. I'm glad this happened, and I'm glad we're never gonna talk again. Because <laughs> it's just better that way. Fuck it. Who gives a fuck, man? Like what? That it was a residual le- leftover, leftover of. What could be maybe, I don't know, even though it feels kind of wrong, weird, I don't know. Now, my heart is so much more open to the right one yeah. because I was able to answer that. So you gave me a gift. Thank you. I almost said your name. Not going to say your name. No. But thank you, Boston lady. Boston I actually lady, love you. You're the best. I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm not in love with you, but I love you for what yeah. you, know, you have done for me. I'm not going to say to me because that's like me playing victim, but you, what you did for me. Very grateful. Very honored. You know, we had some good times too. I'm not going to shit on that, but you're a real one for his evolution. You have exponentially pushed my shit forward to work. Yes. And you know what? I can't wait till the day that, like, you know, you're going to maybe you're going to, you know, creep on me like six, seven years from now, 10 years from now. He's and then wear you're, that you're, blue suit. Yeah. And, it, <laughs> and then and you're going to realize uh, how miserable you are. <laughs> Just kidding. No, 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 no. We're, we're going to tell the truth. spiteful, just a little bit. Look, man. Look, we we look in this life. Let's be honest, man. I'm human. Look, it's cool to be humble. It is, but at the end of the day, we're trying to shit on our haters, man. That's all it comes down to. I'm sorry, man. I've, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm humble, but I'm like, yo, I remember what people said to me. Oh, I remember. There's a list. I have a list, and I maybe it's sick. I have a people what they've said, and how they've acted, and how they don't support. I, I have too. I have those three. I have people that that I watch and it, and people who don't support. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm oh I got you. But what one thing I love to do that motivates the hell out of me. I love it. I love it. I love I love when people start hating because what it does it puts that batter in my back even more to go even harder and to annoy them even more just with my happiness and just keep it going. So I love it. But please support. <laughs> anyway, like, look, come on, man. just, just, just support. You know what I mean? That's that's all we have for. But again, being humble in a way, yes. But we're just trying to shit on the haters, man. You know, this is all it is. But at the same time, you don't have to stay angry. No, no, because that no, can no, fuck no. you up. Yes, it can. Don't but be, be angry. grateful. Be grateful. Don't fight. Count the blessings that are in your life. Got to. And that's gonna help a lot. So, uh, yeah, Mr. Keith, would you like to plug in your uh, social medias? Yeah, well, um, you can follow me at Mills Thursdays, M-I-L-L-S-T-H-U-R-S-D-A-Y-S. And there you'll have fun with it. You get to go on Mills Thursdays every Thursday. I ask questions on the stories. It's random stuff, so you can check it out. And I also have on the YouTube as well, Mills Thursdays. And, yo, just follow me there. Uh, Say you know, Mike sent me here with his podcast and like I, I bring all of Mike's fans in, man, because they love me and I love y'all, man. Y'all re- like Mike's Mike's fans, like and I don't want to call them fans, like Mike's people. The community. The community. Fuck yeah. fuck saying fans. Like Mike's community is like they're not toxic. Like the real ones aren't, yo. They're so not. it's just like, oh shit. They're like they get it, yo. Like it's not, it's not a time. It's dope. It's dope, man. And I, it's crazy because I talk like legit talk to them. They like send me pictures of their toy collection. I'm like, yo, that's, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Aunt, Aunt would sh- would show me pictures of toy and collection. And because you show the Funkos. I show the Funko yeah, pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw I have over a hundred and I want more. So I'm like, yo, and I tell them, I'm like, yo, keep on collecting, because because of you. 
you just got a good ass community man <laughs> shout I'm out blessed. to them man. i feel blessed man i appreciate everybody that listens to my podcast that supports yeah. my videos that support my career i'm in the building phase i'm the this is underdog shit but like you guys make me feel like i'm, I'm like the king because you believe in me you guys tell me you believe in me and I see. uh at, at this level so i'm super fucking grateful and uh and and i gotta say about boston the the boston period not the not the girl but boston i, I, I fuck with boston yeah boston i love was a boston dope i'm, I'm so. gonna go back yeah, dude I, like i don't know <laughs> like boston girl if you thought that that was gonna make me hate boston you're wrong i love boston i'm not gonna even associate it with you like that's how much it has done for me i fuck with boston boston i will be back one of these days and please please boston is is dope though I just hate the fans because they're so spoiled because they got all the best teams. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking Sports-wise. Patriots, Celtics. Dog, they're so spoiled. And I'm hating because I'm a Wizards fan. So And a Washington football team. And that's another story. You Nationals, we, we don't. I mean, we won the World Cup. I mean, I said World Cup, the uh, World Series. But, um. Yeah, I'm. I'm just a hater of Boston fans. Y'all, it's, it's, it's y'all, not you. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all get everything. Y'all got everything, man. Spoiled, man. Yeah. <laughs> I had Dunkin' Donuts for the first time. I had it was like a like a sausage croissant with. We don't have Dunkin' Donuts eggs. here. We do, but I never been in one until I got there. Oh. And I and then I had it, and it was like one of the best sandwiches. I was like, yo, fuck McDonald's, yo, fuck the sausage yeah, McMuffin. You eat McDonald's, man, because it's right here. That's disgusting. I know. I feel horrible after that. But now I'm going to go to Dunkin' Donuts for that specifically because it was so delicious. You Shout eat out McDonald's? to Dunkin' Donuts. I, I try not to do too much. It feels fake in my mouth like Play-Doh sometimes, but I'll eat it because it's like it's there sometimes. I can't believe you eat McDonald's, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to change it. You know why? Because after what happened in Boston, I'm going to quit drinking for the rest of the year. I'm going to work out more and I'm going I'm to become a sex machine that's not having sex that much because I don't want to. Uh, I'm not trying to go through the dating right now. So guys, look, it's okay. It's okay. I don't be a always monk. have the sex. Yeah, I'm gonna be a monk. I'm gonna be, He's I'm already gonna be there. no fap. Yeah. Oh, no fap? Actually, I, I might I might jack off once in a while. But you know what? That's not a big deal. That's just to shoot it in the sink, right? Just real quick. Get it down. So I don't have to clean it up. Hot water gets it down. But anyways, guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. This, yeah. This has been another episode of the Set Record Podcast. And until then, I will see you next time. Have fun. Be you. Peace.